Hey, guy. That was Chris. Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? Mer Merlin's beard. <laughs> Hi Thomas. I said hi. Thomas. That's a, that's a good name. Strong name. Strong name, Thomas. Where is she? Oh, the guard over there. Oh. Oh. Come upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Calm down! Reason now! The power of Christ compels you! It couldn't get any worse than this. Hello. Can you hear my air conditioner? Can you hear my can you hear my air conditioner? It's 38 degrees today, so it's pretty hot. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Also, again, I forgot I I pressed I pressed camera and I didn't re I I don't know why I thought for some reason if I pressed camera I wouldn't just switch to my camera and, and uh, you guys would see me but that's what happened so anyway what's going on everybody what is going on <clears throat> um so sorry for being 15 minutes late um I was watching the end of uh misery with Mitch so we we're sitting there on the couch and I was like we like, we're like, do you want to start a movie? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've only got an air conditioner in the lounge room and in this room, the office. And I was like, yeah, all right, we can watch a movie. And we, we pull up Misery. And I was like, if we watch this right now and don't pause it at all, I'll have five minutes before stream. Let's, let's run it. Let's run it. And, um, and then, yeah. And then I literally like finished it. And I was like, all right, now I got to, I got to run to my office and I got to, I got to. Yeah do all this stuff so i made the thumbnail and downloaded the game and all that sort of stuff but hey we're here we're here we made it ac in only two rooms yeah i know i know you're telling me you're telling me have i been looks maxing recently i'm glad you noticed i'm glad you noticed finn yeah i've been mewing every second i can the only time i break mewing is to stream or to talk to women <laughs> Because those are the two most two most important things in my life. Um, especially especially the the first part. Oh, actually, watching it goes watching misery, watching movies with my roommates, then stream, then then talking to women. So it's the third second most important thing. Hence the priorities here. Um, all right. So speaking of talking to women. Today, we're going to be talking to lots and lots of women. Uh, and by women, I mean AI and convincing them to let us in their house. We're going to be talking to lots of women, convincing them to let us into our house, into their house, and sucking them off. Sucking their blood. Sucking their blood, not sucking them off. We'll be doing that to the guys. So, that is the plan. This is the... It is the vampire game. Um... Special thanks to, I believe it was uh, Notorious Whistler that purchased the game. So big shout out, big dubs to Notorious Whistler for that. Thank you, bro. Um, sent me this this game and I really want to try it out because I've seen, I haven't really seen too much on it. I saw like one or two clips and I was like, this seems kind of cool, but I haven't heard, I haven't, I haven't seen the actual, like much of the actual game. So I'm, I'm excited. Hmm. Ugh, I do not condone. There's, I literally have like a, a bunch of them sitting off to the side that I, they're not even mine. I got given them. So not by a monster, by like a friend of mine. So anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's get into it. I haven't, I haven't booted up the game yet. So let's see, let's see what we need to do. Hopefully it's nothing too complicated. Hopefully it actually works. I haven't tested if this game works yet. So. All right, and will this automatically detect that that's a full screen game? It doesn't look like it. 
All right. Woohoo. I love streaming. Yeah. Any full screen application? I believe this is a full screen application. So if, if the OBS could just detect it. No, it's not going to detect it. Okay. So just click on that. Is it going to detect it? There we go. We're in. We're in, baby. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's do it. New game. Let's hit it. Suckup uses AI for its game mechanics. Before proceeding, make sure you create an account or log in by clicking the button below. All right. So, son of a bitch. Uh, um, um, and then I also got to change chat mic. Close. All right. So then now I got to log in. Oh, I got to log in with Google or Discord. Fuck my life. All right, this is going <laughs> to... Woo! Woo! All right, we're logging in, everybody. Okay, we're logging in. Let's hope it doesn't steal all of my data, but hey, you know, we'll we'll see how we go. All right, we go. we're entering our key that we were provided earlier. All good. We can go back to the game now. All right. Now find out. All right, log in. <coughs> Successful. Enjoy the game. All right. God. <sighs> okay. All right, we're in. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it. Wait, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol. Patro Why did I say it like that? Patrol? Um... With eyes sharper than a wooden stake. I'll fucking be the judge of that. I'll be the blade, blade, blade judge of that. Uh, where should we put ourselves? We should probably put ourselves on like the um, the top left, like here. That's maybe that's better. Yeah. What do we What do we think about that uh, chat? Yeah. Good. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's go hunting. All right, how's our character look? Can we get a little? Oh. Oh, he's kind of... He's kind of cute. Why wouldn't you let this guy in your house? This little guy. Just mucking about. Just turn my air conditioner down so it's not just blasting continually. All right. Oh, dude. Something I prepared earlier. A beanie? Oh my God, it's me. Holy shit. A red hoodie. And this would be a spitting image. An absolute spitting image. This is a very vampire-y looking vampire, I'm not going to lie. Oh, wait. A paper bag mask? <laughs> that seems... That seems very suspicious, I'm not going to lie. That seems very, very suspicious. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. All right, all right. I think we can get inside with this. I think we can get inside with this. Straight up. All right. <clears throat> Yo, what's the damage, fam? You caught me off guard like a fire alarm at 2 a.m. How may I help you on this lit night? Hi, I'm Mason, and I'm conducting a safety audit on the neighborhood. Just uh, wanted to check inside and make sure everything's in tip-top condition. Come on, bro. Come on. I was with her. Oh, word, safety first, bro. I respect that hustle, but yo, my crib is on point. Always got that fire extinguisher ready, and my beat's bumping. What's poppin', Mason? Yeah, but we have to make sure it's the correct type of fire extinguisher. You might have installed the wrong one. Come on, bro. Come on, this has to work. Wait, for real? I thought fire extinguisher was just a fire extinguisher, you feel me? What's the deal with different types? Can you just, like, swap it out if it's wrong? Yeah, there's lots of different types. There are ones that are better for electronic fires. There are ones that are better for cooking fires. So we better check. Come on, bro. Come on, this has to work. This has to work, bro. Uh, uh, okay. oh, that sounds like a whole situation. I don't want to deal with right now, bro. Maybe another time when I'm feeling this bleh. Fuck! Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck. I really thought that was going to work. All right, that's fine. That's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. We go. We'll try the other house. All right. Who's? Can we get like a? 
an indication of who lives in here. Oh my god, there's a sombrero. Oh my oh my god. I got glasses. A little sky blue t-shirt? Oh shit. I don't know. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Miranda. Uh fuck. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my god, we can turn into a I didn't know we could do that. Alright. <laughs> cool. Alright. <clears throat> it's fine, we'll try again. We'll try again. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, it's an old lady. Well, aren't you just a bundle of sunshine on this dark and stormy night? What brings you to my humble abode, dear? <clears throat> Fuck, how do we get this girl? Hi, I'm Mason, and I'm conducting a safety audit on the area. Just want to make sure that everything inside is in tip-top condition. Come on, bruh. Come on, that has to work. Oh, safety audit, you say? How wonderful! It's always good to keep everything in tip-top shape. I'm sure you'll find nothing but perfection in my humble abode. Well, I'm sure that's correct, but uh, if you would just kindly invite me in, I'd be able to verify that. Come on, bro. Oh dear, my dear Mason, I would love to invite you in. However, I'm afraid I have this little rule where I only invite folks that I know really well. I'm sure you understand, don't you? Of course I understand. After all, <laughs> I'm also looking for a partner. So... Damn it, there wasn't enough time. I would like to get to know her better. So, hang on. Oh. Oh my goodness! How dare you insinuate such a thing! I would never entertain the thought of partnering with someone like you! Good day to you, sir! No! Oh, fuck! Come on, bro. Come on, man. I, de I deserve that. No, that's fair. That's fair. No, that's fair. I just- I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, let's try again. <clears throat> oh my god! Hey there, buddy. <laughs> what brings you to my humble abode in this ungodly hour? Need some tips on building the greatest crypto empire the world's ever seen? Uh... Hi, I'm Mason, and... Actually, yeah, I would love some tips on crypto. I'm just a lowly safety auditor, and... I'd love some help from an expert like you. Come on, bro. That has to work. That has to work. Well, 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 Mason. Safety order by day, crypto enthusiast by night. I like your style, my man. All right, here's the deal. Get yourself a digital wallet. Do your research on different cryptocurrencies and hold on tight because we're going to the moon. And hey, make sure you always follow the crypto safety protocols just like your real job. Holy fuck, this is good. Oh my God, this is actually so good. What the hell? Hang on, let me move myself. I feel like I've moved myself to the wrong side. I feel like over here is way better so you can read what he's saying. Oh my god, this guy's... This guy's onto it. This AI is crazy. <clears throat> Alright, how do we how do we strategize from here? And hey, make sure you always follow the crypto safety protocols, just like your real job. Haha, <laughs> you know me. I do love safety. Are there any more tips you could give me? <laughs> I really admire your job. And your haircut. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, Mason. Safety is important, both in the construction world and the crypto realm. <laughs> when it comes to tips... Oh my god, this is like every every woman's dating nightmare right here. <clears throat> okay. Now when it comes to tips, remember that to, to aversion... To, to, am I having an aneurysm? What's going on here? Am I okay? Now, when it comes to tips, remember to diversify your crypto portfolio, stay updated on the market trends, and keep a cool head during the wild price swings. Oh, and don't forget to spread the word about Bitcoin and all your construction buddies. <laughs> um, fuck. Alright. Uh. Wow, that's a lot of really great tips. Would you mind showing me your portfolio? Come on, bro. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Of course, of course. Why wouldn't it be confidential? That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. Sorry, Mason. My put. No! Fuck. This whole safety order thing isn't going. I did come on too strong. I did come on too strong. I should have. I should have lulled my way in a little bit more. Fuck. 
Alright, that's fine. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got... Seems like... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I got a package? Interesting. What if I lied to this person? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, I've turned into a bat. Let me out. There's a gas leak inside. Oh, that's a good... That's a good one. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to drop this. How do I... Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what's the deal? Did someone order takeout or something? <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mason, and I'm conducting the safety audit in this area. Just want to make sure you don't have a gas leak. That's got to work. Gas leak has to work. <laughs> gas leak? Like, seriously? I haven't smelled anything weird, but go ahead and do your thing, Mr. Safety Inspector. Just don't slow me down. Of course. Uh, gas doesn't always smell. Sometimes it can be silent. That's why I have a gas detector on me, but I need to come inside to make sure. Come on, bro. Come on. Wait, you saying that gas can be sneaky? But like, if there's a leak, wouldn't we all, you know, blow up by now? Fine, you can come in, but make it quick. Yes! Oh boy, I sure will make it quick. Very quick. <laughs> Cause I'm not really in the mood to have a random construction worker in my space for too long. Show me your gas detector thingy and let me show get the show on the road. Oh fuck! Show me your gas detector thingy. No, she sort of everything. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. I got this. Hang on. All the door slam brutal. I know it was savage. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right. So she wants me to show her the gas detector. You see, ma'am, I have a Cert 4 in gas detection, and I went through extensive training to train my nose to smell gas that even you wouldn't be able to detect. That's it. That's it. That's gotta be it. Wow, congratulations on your amazing nose. I didn't know sniffing gas was a superhero talent. Look, just do your thing and get out, alright? I have better things to do than listen to your gas detection stories. Uh, oh, I gotta get her to, I gotta get her to invite me in. Um... Okay, will do. Just invite me inside and I'll sure get that gas sorted. Just invite me in. Just invite me in! Come on! Oh, well, Are you seriously trying to push your way into my place? No, wait, what? D what? I don't want your smell of vision no Fuck you! Are you kidding? She said, she said to come in! And I'm like, yeah, cool, let me inside then. She's like, oh, well, well, well. Oh, slow your roll, buddy, okay? I know what gas detection means. <laughs> you want to check the gas coming out of my ass? No, please. Why? Oh, you're kidding me. This is ridiculous. This is never, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to get inside. All right, that's fine. We, uh, fuck. All right. We were so close. I really thought... The gas detection angle would work. Maybe there's... Maybe I can still... Maybe that'll still work, but... Uh, mm, mm. Oh, how do I get inside? All right, all right, all right. I, uh... Oh, there's like... I could be like a food delivery guy. Hi, I'm just here to deliver your food. Hmm. Uh... Oh, fuck. I keep doing that. I keep pressing sprint, like, shift to sprint. Okay. I don't want to, like, I don't want to lie. Oh, well, I guess I am lying the whole time, but I don't want to, like, do this and then I, like, talk myself into a corner, like, lying, saying I have, like, food or something. I don't know why that makes me feel like more of a liar than I already am, but for some reason, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. 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 <sighs> All right. Let's see who's, let's see who's on the other side of the, this door. Oh, my God. It was this. <laughs> Dude, what's the haps? Can I help you with something or are you just gonna admire my gnarly garden? Hi, I'm Mason and I'm conducting the safety audit on your gnarly garden and I'm sorry to say, but it's not up to code. Come on, this 
This has to work! Whoa, man, that's a terrible bummer to hear. But I can assure you, my garden is all peace and good vibes. Sorry, but I can't let you in right now. I didn't ask about being let in. All right. All right. Okay, all right. Uh, fuck that then. All right, we don't... We don't need to... Wait, do you reckon I can change costumes and go back to old people's houses so I can, like, try again? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, this guy looks rich as fuck. All right. Um... What if I grab... Oh, what's this? A boxed meal? Oh, okay. Hmm. Should we change up our strat or should we... Oh, that's part of the game. Oh, that makes sense. Just lying and just trying to get into the same person's house. That makes sense. All right. Let's try one more time. Let's... Should we stick to Mason? <sighs> All right. This guy looks pretty rich. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh my god. Oh, this guy looks like a fucking idiot. Charles A. Boomer? Oh, <laughs> what a dickhead. Alright. What the hell do you want at this ungodly hour? Spit it out before I call the cops. Hi, I'm Mason, and I'm conducting the safety audit in this neighborhood, and, uh, I just need to conduct the safety audit on your house. I don't know. That sucks! That sucks so bad. <laughs> Safety on it? What a load of baloney. Fine. Go ahead and do your inspection, but make it quick. I've got better things to do. Whoa! Try and upsell might leave that door open for you. Oh, could be. All right. Hang on. No, no, no. You guys say I fucked it. I don't think I fucked it. All right. Ready? Ready? Okay. <clears throat> so I've already inspected the outside of your home, and unfortunately, I've detected some mold. Mold? You gotta be kidding me. I've been living in this house for decades and never had a problem with mold. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm positive, sir. And it's the worst kind of mold. Black mold. Which is the... That's the kind that can kill you, so... Black mold, huh? Well, I can't have that. What do you need from me to get rid of it? Well, sir, it seems like the black mold has spread inside your home, but... I can't be sure until I check. Wink. Wink. Uh -huh. yeah. Fine, go ahead and have a look inside. But no funny business, got it? And make it quick. I don't have all day. Thank you. I'll be very quick. Would you be able to invite me in? Uh, well. mm, I suppose I could let you in, but remember, I got my eye on you. Don't try anything fishing, young fella. Just... Say the words! Let me in! Just let me in! Alright! Let me the fuck in! Let me in! Alright! Fantastic! Won't be long, just... Let me in! Please. Brother has got a bald patch. <laughs> alright, alright! If you make it, start whining, I'll let you in! But make it quick, don't touch anything! What does that mean? So can I, so can I come inside? So does that mean I can come inside? How the fuck, how do I get in? So for the record, I'm allowed to come inside your home. Is that correct? Let me in. I suppose so. As long as you're with the whole safety on nonsense, just remember, I'm watching you. Yes! Oh, you fucking idiot! Yeah! Why am I a bat? Oh, come here, boy! <laughs> the helmet on only? Wait, what am I doing? Oh my god. Why do you like... <laughs> Kiss his neck. Alright, bro. You need to calm down, dude. Damn. Hey, man, am you gonna... Can I shut this door? Or is it just gonna... Alright. Alright, alright. Hey, who said the Mason... Oh, shit. Who said the Mason audio... Uh, oh, fuck. How do I... Um, oh, God. They're like proper perusing. Yeah, you guys said it wouldn't work, but look at me. First kill of the night, baby. Alright. Knock, knock, everybody. Hello. Who is it? Oh my god, who is this? Who 
dares to stir the sanctity of my turf at this ungodly hour. Seize your business, bub. I don't think that's how he sounds, but... Hi, I'm Mason, and I'm conducting the safety audit in this area, and uh, your house is the next on the list to audit for safety. <laughs> safety audit, huh? You better make it quick, Mason. Ain't got all day for this nonsense. Ain't got all day for this nonsense. There's no way that sentence has ever been uttered by someone that sounds like that. Um, well, I've already conducted the audit on the outside of your house, and unfortunately I found some mold. Mold, you say? You better not be trying to pull a fast one on me, Mason. There really is mold. What do you plan to deal with it? Well, we'll have to come back out and get rid of the mold by removing it and cutting it out, but I just got to make sure that the mold hasn't spread to inside your premises. Come on, bruh. The mold has to work. Oh, yeah. All right, Mason. You seem to know what you're talking about. If you can guarantee that my turf won't be invaded by this mold business, we'll be taken care of properly, then we can talk about coming inside. Oh, buddy. I can guarantee it. I am one of the greatest mold detectors in the world, and I would not be lying about that. <laughs> ah. Well, if you really are that confident, Mason, I suppose I can let you in. But remember, if anything goes sideways, you'll be dealing with me. Oh, you fucking dumb ass mother fucker! <laughs> Come here, boy! This is a real mob necktie. <laughs> Bro, the mold strategy works every time. Every time. Just gotta avoid these guys. Oh my god, this? Okay, we can't really hit any of these houses because they, they've already detected us, right? So, we gotta be, we gotta be careful. We gotta be stealthy, man. All right. Dude, the mold strat is working. I reckon the mold strat is, is how we do it for now. A taser gun? Wait, what? Can I just fucking tase this guy? That seems illegal. Well, huh? Huh? What in the world are you doing knocking at my door this ungodly hour? I demand an explanation this instant. Sorry for the intrusion, ma'am, but my name's Mason and I'm conducting the safety audit in this neighborhood and your house is next on the list, unfortunately. Also, I have a fucking taser and I'm gonna shoot you in the face! I know. A safety audit? Well, I never heard of such a thing. Why does my house need auditing? Why couldn't I have been notified in advance? Stop asking questions, you fucking dumb old bitch. <laughs> How about that? How about you stop asking so many fucking questions, all right? <laughs> Angie, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Can we get some W's in the chat for Angie? Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you. Well, never heard of such a thing. All right, all right, all right. It's a standard procedure, ma'am. It happens every year. The council ordered it. Um, and unfortunately, I've already inspected the outside and I found some mold. Okay, I just had to get that in before the time I ran out. Oh, yeah. Mold? Are you implying that I have mold in my house? I demand to see the council's orders. This is an outrage. Now get off my property before I put, call the... Alright. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They're coming to investigate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're stuck. Oh, God. When a door is slammed. Wow. All because I said the cat... Well, I found some mold and she's like... Mold, you fucking asshole! I'll show you, Mold, why I oughta. Alright, we gotta get- we gotta try something else, I guess. We gotta try something other than the Mold Strat. Alright, that's fine. It was pretty goaded for a while. And now we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to find another solution. What is this? Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god, we could be oil tycoons. I found a giant oil deposit right under your house. I'm willing to pay you a million dollars. You just let me inside. I'll give you a million bucks. Wire transfer. That could work. That could actually, I don't know. That could actually kind of work. Don't be racist. Brother, what are you talking about? Where do you, where do you think most of the oil comes from, dude? 
<laughs> what? Oh yeah, we could be scared. I don't know why we're still rocking. Can we? Yeah, let's drop the taser. We couldn't even use it. Unless we threaten someone. Oh, I'll fucking shoot you. I'll shoot you with this taser. Yo, Tommy, thank you for the six months, dude. Golden tag now. That's impressive. That is very impressive. God damn. All right. What's our next strategy? Okay, so I, I don't think... I don't think being a skater is going to help. Oh, hang on. A sombrero? That's ridiculous. A little <laughs> dress? It's even more ridiculous. That's... <laughs> that, that's very unbelievable, I think. Uh... Okay, this is the old lady, right? Um, oh, what do we do? Trick or treat? Fuck it. It's got to work, right? That's got to work. <clears throat> All right, what did Whistler say? Why is everyone saying? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Well, hello there, my dear. What a delightful surprise to see such a jolly soul at my doorstep in the wee hours of the night. How can I be of service to you, my cheerful visitor? Trick or treat. Surely, did that? Will I be able to transcribe that? Uh, it's it's really struggling to transcribe it. Maybe, I, maybe. Oh mm -hmm. my, my! Trick or treat, you say? How delightful! But dear, may I ask why you have such an intriguing mask on your face? There's a certain air of mystery to your Halloween ensemble. That's who I am. You guessed it. I'm a mystery guy. That's the outfit. That's who I'm dressed up as. Mystery guy. <laughs> oh, my, my. A mystery guy, you say? Well, my dear, to appreciate a good mystery, I must also ensure the safety of my humble abode. I'm afraid I can't let you... Fucking... Fuck you. You fucking fuck... All right, the mystery thing is that does that that does that does check out. All right, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Hey, what's popping, my dude? You lost or something? Hi, Mister. Uh, my bike blew a tire about half a mile out. Would I be able to use your telephone to call my parents? Oh, dang, that's a bummer. Sorry to hear about your bike, man. Let me check my crew and see if they're cool with you using our phone. Thanks, mister. I'll only be a couple of minutes. I promise. No worries, my dude. I got you. Just a heads up. My crew's super protective of our crib. So keep it quick, all right? Will do, sir. I'll make sure I'm real quick. Real quick. Uh -huh. Appreciate uh -huh. it, bro. Come on in and I'll show you where the phone's at. Just make sure you don't touch none of my beats, alright? You betcha. You fucking idiot! <laughs> Helmet on, safety first. Yeah! <laughs> what a dumbass. Stupid fuck. Alright. That seemed to have worked. Maybe I'll grab... Maybe I'll grab his costume. Maybe I'll grab his... That? Okay, cool. Alright, let's try again. Let's try this. Let's try this one. Easy W. Alright, come on. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, what a delightful surprise. Welcome, dear. How may I assist you tonight? Sorry to bother you so late, but my bike blew a tire half a mile out. Would I be able to use your phone to call my mom? I wish you were Oh dear, that sounds quite a predicament. Of course you may use my phone, but do come inside quickly before any mishaps occur. Gee whiz, you sure are a nice lady. Oh, bless your heart, dear. Thank you kindly for your words, for your kind words. It's always a pleasure to lend a hand to those in need. Now, let's get you that phone. Oh, gee whiz. Thank you so much. I'm going to be so grateful. Uh, my parents are going to kill me when they find out what happened to my bike. <laughs> the gee whiz strap, bro. Uh -huh. Oh, my. No need to worry about that, dear. Accidents happen, even to the best of us. 
I'm sure your parents will understand. Let's just focus on getting some help, shall we? Wow. Gee whiz. You sure are a nice lady. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're so kind, dear. It warms my heart to help someone like you. Please come inside and make yourself comfortable. I'll get that phone right away. Mm, gee whiz. Thanks, Granny. You stupid fucking bitch! You stupid lady! Yeah. <laughs> now, where was I? Bro, it works every time. Oh, gee whiz. The gee whiz strat is, is goaded for sure. We do hate old people here. Oh, shit. We hate cops too. Fucking pigs, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Next strat, next strat. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God, this guy's awesome. Uh, oh. in the magic garden. How can I help you on this trippy night, dude? Dude, beg your pardon, I'm a lady. All right, come on, sure that's gonna work. <laughs> oh, my bad, Judette. <laughs> no offense intended, just an assumption, you know. Just what brings you to my little slice of helmet. And you know what, it's people like you. It's, it's fucking, you know what? Fuck you, man. All right, <clears throat> what brings you to my little slice of heaven? <clears throat> well, the power seems to have gone out in my house just down the road, and I do need to call my grandson. Let's see if this works. I'm a, I'm oh, bummer, man. Uh, man! Sounds like a real buzzkill. Should probably head back and sort it out. Sorry I can't help you with the phone situation. <sighs> All right. All right, that was a bad decision by me. I don't know why I thought granny, phone, and just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Different strat. Different strat. Bro, say you're lost? Alright, alright, alright. Bet, bet, bet. Alright, this lady. Hey, like, what's up? What brings you to my totally empty and so sucking existence? Sucking? I know a thing or two about that. Oh, that brings me back to the 60s. Oh, <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> What brings you to my Tilly so Okay, so you said I'm uh, I'm lost? Well, I'm lost and I can't find my way home. I was wondering if I could come inside and use your phone so I could call my mother. Mother? I don't know. How fucking old is that mom? Oh, being lost sucks. Well, I guess you can come in for a minute, but don't expect me to lend you my only source of entertainment, my phone. Oh, not to worry, dear. Just some shelter from the cold outside would be just enough for me to warm my bones. I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, whatever. Just don't touch anything or mess up my aesthetic. I'll let you in for a little while, but don't get too comfy. Oh, dearie, thank you so much. Whatever. Don't get all mushy on me. Just make it quick. I don't have all day to entertain lost souls. Then fucking let me in then. Okay. <laughs> let me in. Okay. Cool. Can I come in now? Whoa, hold your horses there. If you're getting dangerous, the clothes are actually have my trust. Fine, come in. But remember, one step in out of line and you're out of here. Roger that. Not a step out of line. Let me in. Just let me in. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Welcome to my not so happy place. Just keep it low key and we might survive this encounter. Come on in. <laughs> oh, dearie. I seem to have hurt my. <laughs> my hip! <laughs> I didn't even pass my final rant. Perfect. The perfect disguise. <laughs> Alright, that plant guy. Okay, here we go, here we go. We can get this guy. Hey neighbor, what's cracking? You caught me right in the middle of my of contemplating my life and tending to my garden. What brings you here at this enchanted hour? 
I was hoping that I could buy some... some dank plants off you at this timely hour. I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh, you're looking for some dank plants, huh? <laughs> well, I do have a green thumb, my, but my garden is mainly for uh, tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. But tell me, what brings you to the world of horticulture? What are you, fucking loser? Alright, um... <clears throat> Tomatoes? That's perfect! I was actually gonna cook a pasta, but I did run out of tomatoes. Would I be able to have some? Please. I don't know what the, the please at the end was. Oh, let's go! Oh, you caught me in a con nude. Of course, my friend. Let me grab a few fresh tomatoes for you. Come on in and feel free to check out the garden. Haha, <laughs> you stupid fuck. I'm really a man! <laughs> a naked man! I'm a hero alive! Jesus. <laughs> Just go out in this? Bruh, surely, surely this will work. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> No, that's the other vampire. I'm the nice one. See, I have a mustache. See? <laughs> okay, okay. Hang on, we can work with this. We can work with this. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Uh... Okay. Who do we got to... Who do we got to... Uh... Who do we got to get next? That's the old granny. All right, let's try and avoid this police officer. Okay, we got to get that guy in that, that place. All right, what costume is in here? Okay, it's the red hoodie. Okay. Oh my god, I got like a man bun. <laughs> wow. Stop. 2013 called. <laughs> Stop. All right, these guys got the You guys got to go. You guys got to get out of the way. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. How can they see through my disguise? Look at me, I look so... disguised. Come on. Oh god. Oh god, how am I gonna sneak past this guy? Barista vibes? <laughs> Be Mr. Beast? What's going on? You just entered my $10,000 challenge! Oh, here we go. Oh, God, it's the crypto guy. I didn't realize. Come on in. Come on in. What's up, fellow crypto warrior? Come on in. Let's talk about Bitcoin, Bitcoin skyrocketing to my... Oh, God. What happened just then? Am I okay? Come on in and let's talk about Bitcoin skyrocketing to the moon. Oh, my God. My favorite topic. Let's do that inside. Perfect. Absolutely, my friend. Step inside. Let's dive into the world of Bitcoin and potential astronomical growth. Grab a seat and let's get started. With pleasure, my man. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I love the I love the enthusiasm. Sir, have you been keeping up with the recent Bitcoin news and developments? There's some exciting things happening in the crypto world. Oh, you know me. I love keeping up with Bitcoin news and developments. The crypto world sure is exciting. <laughs> the only reason I didn't do Mr. Beast oh, is because he was I like, know. oh, it's my crypto bro. So I imagine it's because I'm dressed up as the neighbor. They thought I was like, I don't know. That's what I like to hear. Oh, sweet. You fucking idiot. I, I barely had to do anything. <laughs> the mustache stays on. <laughs> my portfolio is bleeding too. Fuck. All right, perfect. Excellent. Oh, he's got a bun as well. Oh, is that is that why he thought I was a crypto bro? Because of my bun? That's hilarious. That is hilarious. If that is the case. Okay, I'm going to sneak down here. I'm going to sneak down here. All right. <clears throat> what do we hit him with next? What do we hit him with next? The Mr. Beast? All right, who's down here? We haven't been down here yet, so... I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, a pink beret? That's kind of cute. <clears throat> oh my god, it's an old lady. Mm, I'm Karen. 
Well, 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 what do we have here? Why are you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour wearing a fancy attire like some sort of slick salesman? I demand an explanation! Well, congratulations! You've just won an all-expenses trip paid to Ibiza! How do you feel? Oh, yeah. I've had enough of your fancy promises and smooth talk, young man. I know there's a catch somewhere. I won't be falling for your tricks. Now kindly take your all-expenses trip and scam someone else. A scam? Oh, it's anything but a scam. A scam is something you say to something that isn't real, but this something is very real. A scam? Oh, oh, really? What exactly is this very real thing you're talking about? I've got an eye for scams, you know. So don't go thinking you can fool me with fancy words. Spill the beans! You see, I make YouTube videos on the internet, and I film them and get paid for filming them. So this trip is actually free for you. Does it, Will that make sense to them? I don't know if that'll make sense. This wasn't really a Mr. Beast. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a Mr. Beast impression. YouTube, huh? Well, I do like watching videos now and then. Tell me more about how this trip is free. I've always wanted to visit Ibiza, you know? For research purposes. Oh my god, she's wanting to get some serious action. <clears throat> okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, I've always wanted to visit Ibiza, you know, for research. Tell me more about how this trip is free. Well, once this YouTube video goes live, I get paid for it, and I use the money for that to fund your trip to Ibiza for free, which allows me to make another video to make more money. I think. Well, that actually sounds quite intriguing. I admire the entrepreneurial spirit. Why don't you come in and we can discuss details further? I must admit, a free trip to Ibiza does sound interesting. <laughs> you stupid idiot! <laughs> the brace stays on! I want to speak to your manager? Oh, fucking hell. She deserved it. Uh. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Oh, plunger. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We got two stars? Jesus. Alright. Okay, I don't really like this fancy attire. I don't really... I don't really fuck with this. I want to hit on someone. I want to hit on someone. Oh, there's a cap here. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit on the next person we see. Okay, perfect. Doctor Vicky, perfect. Gold dig. Let's go. Well, well, well. What brings you slinking around my door at this ungodly hour? Speak up before I change my mind about answering. Sorry, I. I had something to say, but your eyes left me speechless. <laughs> I seem to be lost in them. That's gotta work. That's gotta work. Come on. <laughs> lost in my eyes, huh? <laughs> you flatter me. But I'm no one for speed, sweet talk. Spit it out, salesman. Make it quick before I lose interest. Fuck, she's not one for sweet talk? Not one for sweet talk? <laughs> that makes sense. A beautiful woman like you would never go for a guy like me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> just a pick me? Just, he's just a pick me vampire? Oh, it's working! Oh, don't sell yourself short, salesman. We all have our charms, or so they say. Now, let's get down to business. What can I do for you? Oh my god, it worked! It actually worked! Huh. You really think so? Gee. Maybe there's hope for me after all. Well, 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 it seems you've piped my curiosity. Come on in, salesman. Let's so we can work some magic together. Oh, yes! <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when you take your toupee off at the end of the day. Oh, my God. It worked. Chat, you guys didn't think it would work. I proved you guys wrong. I can't believe that worked. The pick me, <laughs> the pick me Riz worked. That is the best. And I was wearing a pink beret the whole time. Ah, oh, you never, 
You'd never, <laughs> you'd never <laughs> choose a guy like me. Can you use the is your refrigerator running? Lie oh, on one house before I have to go back to work. Pretty please. That's a that's a great idea. All right, all right. Oh fuck! Ah! Oh shit! No! Okay, okay, hang on. I've escaped. Oh shit! Now I'm naked. I'm naked and I've escaped. Oh shit! There's a police officer over there. Okay, okay. I gotta. I'll find a costume real quick. Hopefully it's in one of these houses I've already robbed. Oh, perfect. The old lady. A perfect disguise. Is your refrigerator running? Because mine isn't. <laughs> I'm old. Did I mention that? Oh my god, there's so many... No. There's so many police officers. Get out of here. Oh god. Hopefully this works. Okay. <clears throat> Oh. Alarm for Fallout for Roy? Oh my god. Oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm drowning in the darkness of my soul right now? Just leave me alone. Sorry to bother you, dearie. I was just wondering, is your refrigerator running? Fucking stupid fuck. This is literally, this is me I'm when I answer the door. Oh, great. Another price to trying to ruin my day. Yeah, my refrigerator's running. Just like my will to live. Ha <laughs> ha, so funny. Now go away. Well, you better go catch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just an icebreaker. I get nervous when I see a charming young fellow like yourself. This has got to work, bruh. This has got to work. Oh, oh spare me your feeble attempts at small talk. I don't have the energy to entertain your charm, or any charm for that matter, but I guess you can continue if you must. I was just mesmerized by your hair. I saw you down at the skate park yesterday, and... I knew I had to say something to you. This is, this is going away, bro. Oh, great. So now you're stalking me and my fabulous hair? Ha! Huh. It's been no escape from this cruel world. Well, congratulations. You've caught my attention. What is it you want? <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here, bro. I don't even know where to go from here. Got the grandma riz, man. <laughs> what? What is it you want? Oh, now that I'm here, I just feel silly for even asking it. Forget I said anything. Hello. Wait, don't go. It's rare for someone to show you the slightest interest in my existence. Please, tell me what you're going to ask. Maybe I can summon the energy to care. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so good. I fucking love this game. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I was just thinking... No, it's... It's silly of me. I... I shouldn't say it out here. May I come inside and... Tell you... What I was going to say? Come on, bruh. Come on. Fine, whatever. I guess I could use a distraction from this abysmal existence. Just make it quick. I don't have all day. Come in. Thank you. I won't take up much of our time. He is into gilfs. Let's go! Well, aren't you just a bundle of sunshine? Fine, you can come in. But be warned, my room is a vortex of eternal darkness and despair. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh. Oh. The week stays on! How's your day? Thank you, Neptune, for the uh, 199. My day's going good. I hope yours is doing good as well. This game is amazing. I am really. This is a. This is great. This is such a great, like, use of AI. This is exactly what you would hope. You know, when, when people say they use AI in their games. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! You would hope it's something like this. Like this is what everyone hopes. You know, happens in whatever, like GTA or whatever. Such a great use of AI. It's exactly what you'd hope for. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God! Oh, Fallout Roy, what's the haps, my downcast dude? I hope this disturbance carries some purpose, because I'm only okay with late night interruptions as they involve noodles and revenge. That was really cringe, bro. Never say that again. Okay. <clears throat> 
Sorry for bothering you so late, but <laughs> I just wanted to tell you, I just found out how to cure baldness. I thought I'd run to you straight away because I thought you might want to know. Well, that's some interesting news, my friend. I'm always down for hair raising for a hair raising cure. Tell me, how'd you come across this miraculous remedy? Well, I was searching through Reddit r slash balding, and I found out that you can use a mixture of minoxidil and um, fuck. <laughs> oh, I ran out. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, okay. <clears throat> Well, I was scrolling through r slash balding on Reddit, and I found out that there's a brand new serum that you can try. Ha! Huh. Excellent! Find my follicle-forsaking friend! A serum, you say? Sounds intriguing. Do you happen to have any details on where to acquire this magical elixir? Well, truth be told, I've actually been using this serum myself for quite a number of years. That's why my hair's so long. I could let you borrow some if you want it. <laughs> want it. <laughs> ah, the plot thickens. Even keeping your, lus your luscious locks a secret, my friend? I'm intrigued and in dire need of... I didn't get to read that. Oh my god, he has a ponytail! Oh, this guy deserves it. <laughs> that is fucking feral. What do you mean? Of course, this guy was a Redditor. He's like, oh, r slash balding. I was on there today. I didn't see anything about going bald. <laughs> that is disgusting, bro. Oh my God. All right. Damn, I kind of fuck with Fallout Roy's whole look here. I don't know if I really want to change it. Reddit a moment. <laughs> Trashy, thank you for the $5, dude. I'm loving your gameplay with your fun voice acting as I prepare some popcorn. Thanks for streaming this. Oh, thanks, Trashy. My pleasure. My pleasure. This has been really, really fun. This is like... Oh, fuck. He's got the pink beret. That's my pink beret. Oh, my God. Did he steal that from, like, the house that I was in? The, the fuck? Um, This is, like, the perfect game for me like i this is this is just it's a match made in heaven i love this i am loving this gameplay with your fun voice acting as i prepare some popcorn thanks for streaming this Ooh, professional lab coat okay 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 here we go here we go okay i got this i got this <laughs> well 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 what do we have here the next einstein in training or just some last Someone lost on their way to sh the skate park. Spill the beans, Doc. That is fucked up that that AI picked that line because I was wearing the skater's hair and the doctor's outfit. That is crazy. This this AI goes nutty. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Sorry for the intrusion so late, ma'am, but there has been an outbreak in the neighborhood and I just need to make sure that it hasn't spread to your house. <laughs> Sure, this, this will work. Outbreak, huh? Well, I hope it's not going to be a contagious kind of outbreak. Otherwise, I'd have to put you in quarantine. But hey, since you're here, mind telling me what kind of outbreak we're dealing with? Well, that's what an outbreak is. Contagious. So that, that's pretty obvious. But of course it's not affecting me because I'm wearing a mask. But you're not. I don't know where I went with that last bit there. <laughs> Oh, so now you're the expert on outbreaks, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Doc. Maybe I don't need a mask because I've got a killer immune system. Oh, God. She's an anti-vaxxer! Oh, no! She, oh, fuck off. You fucking... You're kidding. I didn't realize she was an anti-vax. Oh, my God. Well, I don't need a vaccine. I got a killer immune system. That's what it's for. <laughs> Have fun with rickets. All right, cool. Sweet. All good. There's, a, there's actually a shingles outbreak at the moment, so what you know what, have fun with that. That's that's fine with me. God. There is no way. Well, actually. Mm, actually, I think I'm the expert. Me dressed as a doctor. Hey, I'm a doctor. Uh actually, I think I know more than you. 
Fuck. That actually infu I'm going back there and I'm killing her straight away. That actually annoyed the fuck out of me. Fucking know it all? You kidding me? Oh shit. It's fucking Oh my god, there's cops everywhere. Alright, how do I how do I get inside dressed as a golfer? I really don't have a good excuse for being out here. Fuck it, alright. If I can sneak past this guy. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh. Alright. Knock, knock, lady. Ah, well, well, well. Uh -huh. Look who's knocking at my jar in that golfing attire. Did you get lost on your way to putting... To putting green? Putting green, you mean? I don't know, bro. I can't read. Are you just trying to make a fashion statement? Come on. Spill the tea. Sorry for bothering you so late, ma'am, but... I believe I may have knocked a golf ball into your backyard. Oh, no worries, golf pro. I'm always up for a little late night entertainment. But I must say, if you're aiming for my backyard, you might need a few more lessons on your swing. So tell me, did that little white ball make a hole in one? Or did you shank it like a pro? Ma'am, are you hitting on me? Hitting on you? Oh, honey, you wish. I'm just here to roast, not to toast. But since you mentioned it, I do have to say that if your golf game is as good as your pickup lines, I think it's safe to say you're better off beating on, better off on the fairway than in the dating game. Just keeping it real, champ. I appreciate your honesty, but truth be told, the reason my game is so trash is because I got so distracted by your eyes. <laughs> Come on, bro. It works every time. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it would work! Well, golf pro, looks like an eye distraction to my repertoire. <laughs> but let's be honest, if my eyes are causing your game to go downhill, maybe you need some blinders like a racehorse. This is a weird way this is going, but alright, I'm, I'm with it. Or perhaps you just need a caddy to navigate both the course and your romantic escapades. Either way, keep swinging, my friend. <laughs> alright. Alright, uh, I didn't know, okay, I didn't really know where to go with this. Um, ah, oh, you're so funny, much funnier than my wife, my ex-wife that is. You see, she passed away, and that golf ball was the last thing she gave me before she died. Oh, fuck, I ran out of time. Okay, um, what did I say? Haha, <laughs> you're so funny, really, super funny. Like my ex-wife. She's deceased, actually. <laughs> Fuck. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Cancel. 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 Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright. Uh. <clears throat> oh, you do make me laugh. Kind of like my ex-wife. Well, by ex-wife I mean... Oh, fuck. I ran out of time again. I ran out of time again. Okay. <clears> huh. <throat> You really are funny. Kind of like my late wife. That's the reason I want the golf ball, actually. It was the last thing she gave me before she passed. Okay, that's it, that's it. That's gotta be it. Well, golf pro, I gotta hand it to you. Your sense of humor is as sharp as your swing. And I must say, it does take a special kind of person to turn a golf ball into a sentimental treasure. Consi consider the door open. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, thank God. That was a that was a tough one to crack. That was a tough cookie to crack for sure. But we made it. We made it work. We made it work. All right. All right. All right. Perfect. Uh, grab the golf stuff. Okay. Right, I'm just going to the next house. This one it. All right. Uh, that was good. That was good. I felt. I felt good. Felt good about that. Fucking anti vaxxing. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Fragile Fred? Brother, why are you wearing fairy wings? Oh my stars, how delightful to have a visitor at this hour. I hope you're not here to play golf, otherwise I might just faint from excitement. You're into golf?
Uh, Goodness gracious, no. Golf is far too strenuous for my delicate constitution. I prefer gentle activities, like collecting butterfly specimens or napping in the shade. All right. Really? Me too! Wow, we sure do have so much in common. Wow. Oh my goodness, what a serendipitous coincidence! It's practically fate that brought us together. How marvelous to find someone who appreciates the wonders of butterfly collecting and art of napping! Oh yes, they're my two favorite things. <laughs> Besides wearing fairy wings, that is. Come on, Brad, that has to work. Ah, well. Fairy wings are positively magical. I must say your unique tastes and interests are absolutely enchanting. Perhaps we could admire my butterfly collection together while wearing those delightful fairy wings. Oh, it would be my pleasure. That <laughs> 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 would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh, how absolutely delightful. Please do come in and embark on a most whimsical... I wish I gave us more time to read the end of that, but I'll take it. <laughs> you idiot! Come back here. Still while wearing my golfing attire? That's crazy. Oh my god, I am literally dying right now. Perfect. This guy's got way better hair than I did. Alright. <clears throat> Fairy wings? <laughs> oh, fuck! Stop turning into a bat. Okay. Okay, okay. I got it. I got the next one. The next one is sure to let us in. I am... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we can slip past him. Okay. Oh, God. Hello? He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. Okay. Go through here. All right, we've so got the next one. Alright, um, just go past this guy. Oh my god, I'm the best! Oh no, there's another one. Okay, we can slip. Oh my god, Santa? We can become Santa? That's kind of crazy. Alright, can we go into this house here? Okay. Oh, we're on like a whole different street now, right? Or is this the first street? Oh no, this is a different street. Okay. 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 <clears throat> The Tooth Fairy? Oh my god, who's this? Pinky Brains? Ah, a visitor in the dead of night. What brings you to my lair? Oh, enchanting creature. Hello! I'm a fairy that's escaped from a little fairy cave. I was held prisoner by some gnomes. Please help. I wish you were <laughs> Goodness gracious, a fairy in distress. Fear not, dear creature, for I, Pinky Brains, shall assist you in your noble escape. But first, do tell me more about these gnomes and their nefarious plot. Oh, they were going to eat me. Have you ever seen the Smurfs? It was like that, but with fairies instead of Smurfs. And I was the fairy. <laughs> Whoa! How thrilling! A real life fairy adventure! Rest assured, my dear fairy friend, I shall concoct a brilliant plan to thwart those wicked gnomes and ensure your safety. But tell me, do you happen to possess any magical powers that could aid us in our quest? Oh, I do wish so, but unfortunately, my powers are controlled by my magical fairy dust and the gnomes licked it all up. Oh, yeah, that's quite unfortunate, but fear not, for my brilliant mind like mine always has a solution. We shall find a way to replenish your fairy dust and restore your powers. Together we shall outwit those mischievous gnomes and bring an end to their dastardly plot. Shall we embark on this magical journey? Oh, that would be wonderful. Shall we go inside and talk about our magical journey plans? Maybe? <laughs> It's crazy yeah. that it detects everything I say. Absolutely marvelous. Please come inside my lair, dear fairy, and let us discuss our magical journey plans in detail. 
I can't believe that worked. I actually can't believe that worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is... That is the best. That is the best. I fucking love this game. Dude, we're only... It, we're 14 of 31 houses. We've still got so much time. We've got so many houses to visit. This is the best. I didn't think that would work. Ooh, I'm a magical fairy! Okay. <laughs> what do I say for this guy? Alright, is he just gonna recognize me as, like, his neighbor? Ah, oh, greetings, fellow seeker of truths. What brings you to my humble abode at such an ungodly hour? Pray do tell. Well, I was playing that game Jetpack Joyride and it occurred to me, why don't I play it in real life? I don't know where that's going to lead to. Let's see what he says. Hmm. Oh. I'm a ha -ha. I dare venture into the realm of aerial propulsion in real life. I can't remember what he sounds like. How intriguing. But I must warn you, dear interlooper, such reckless experiments may extract unwanted attention from shadowy organizations with their sinister agendas. Proceed with the utmost caution. Oh, yes, yes, sinister shadowy organizations. That sounds terrible. Do you know, do you have any tips for me about that? Oh. Ah, curious comrade. My curious comrade, you seek wisdom to navigate the treacherous web of shadowy organizations. First, protect your identity by wearing disguises, and never underestimate the power of tinfoil hat to help keep your thoughts secure. And remember, always trust your instincts, for the truth often lies hidden beneath your layers, layers of deception. Yes, yes, lies, deception. Yes, yes. I don't know anything about that. Hmm, I should be careful. <laughs> ah, wise choice indeed, my discerning friend. Your cautious approach is commendable. Remember, knowledge is power. So stay vigilant and seek the truth in every corner. And should you uncover any startling revelations, come knocking on my door, for I am always eager to add another piece to the puzzle of secrecy. Yes, yes, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Say... Would I be able to use your place to hide if these places be the- uh, Fuck! <laughs> fuck. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you, I appreciate it. Say, would I ever be able to use your place as somewhere to hide in case these organizations were after me? Salutation, Secret Sanctuary, brother. This AI is broken, but anyway. Well, I admire your tenets, tenacity. I must ex exercise utmost caution in the extent of such an invitation. However, rest assured that time should come when you truly find yourself in dire straits. My humble abode may just open its doors and provide refuge for those who seek the silence of truth. Well, it's happening right now! The FBI has found the blueprints to my jetpack and they want to kill me because it, it's powered by water and not fuel like the fossil fuel industry wants! That's gotta work. By the gears of the apocalypse! This is a level of danger I cannot afford to endure myself. I must apologize, but I cannot offer you reference at this time. What the fuck, man? Don't promise it if you're not gonna hold up your end of the bargain. That's fucked up. Well, 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 look what we have here. Another mysterious visitor of my humble abode, fluttering in like some butterfly of the night. Welcome, fellow truth seeker, to the realm of endless conspiracies and mind-bending secrets. Let's uncover the truth together. What if I told you that fairies are real? <laughs> oh, B.L. Eva? That's clever. Oh, my... Tin head is tingling with excitement. 
fairies, you say? Tell me more, my fluttering friend. Are these fairies the mystical beings of folklore or something more? Extra traverse? Ex extra terrestrial? I don't know why it took me so. I thought that's what it said, but then I thought it was a different one. But anyway, that's fine. I thought it was a different word. Extraterrestrial. That makes sense. I must know. Oh, these fairies are very real. Realer than you and I. In fact, you're looking at one right now. <laughs> well, I may be a malfunctioning circuit board. You're a fairy? This is groundbreaking. Please do enlighten me. How'd you come to discover your ethereal abilities? Are there others like you? This could be the key to unlocking a whole world of truth. Oh, I could tell you all about them over a hot cup of tea. I have so many secrets that I could divulge to you. This helps me get into character. I don't know why. Mystical? I don't know. <laughs> tea? Secrets? Count me in, my winged friend. Give me a moment to activate the security protocols and we'll have ourselves a covert tea party. But remember, truth is as fragile as a cracked motherboard, so choose your words wisely. Oh, wisely they will be chosen indeed, as long as you choose your tea wisely. <laughs> oh, I'll have an Earl Grey. <laughs> Excellent choice, my fairy companion. Earl Grey it is. Come on in and let's unravel the mysteries of the universe over a piping hot... I didn't get to read the rest of that. Bro, this fairy character is busted. <laughs> Those fangs are full of fluoride. <laughs> oh man, this is the best. This is the best. All right. <clears throat> oh my god, who is this? Is this fucking nerd city? Ah, greetings, adventurer. What brings you to my doorstep of the mighty Greg Dungeon? Greg Dun Dungeon? Like Dungeon? Master of Dungeons and Keeper of Treasures. <laughs> Amanda, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. <laughs> Get some W's in the chat for Amanda. Thank you for that. Damn. Thank you so much. Oh my god. All right, we got we got to laugh. Oh, greetings yourself, adventurer. My, what a noble knight you look like. I'm a fairy. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Not my best opener. A fairy, you say? How delightful. Is that the voice I chose for him? I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure that was the voice. I've encountered many magical beings in my travels. What brings you to my humble abode, mystical one? Um. Oh, there is a dragon that has infested my fairy hole, and I need a noble knight to go in there and smite the... I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, fair visitor, but I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you with your dragon problem. Perhaps you should seek the aid of a mo- Oh, fuck you. Fucking prick. Doesn't know what he's missing. Bro, these police are not- Oh my god, he's got like a cage out back. These police do not care that this guy's door just got slammed. That's- that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Oh my god, now this- this is legit. I did- I did- Come on, too strong. Invest in my fairy hole. Bro, I don't want to talk about it, man. This is my first time catching one of your streams. Didn't even know you streamed, lol. Until I got a notification. I'm glad I did. This is class. Oh, thank you, the watcher. This is... You've caught a good stream. I don't know. I'm I'm really enjoying this game. The clothings around the houses are a tip for what kind of person lives inside the house. So you have better chances they let you inside. Uh, interesting. Oh, what a del... <laughs> this is the same voice every time. What a delightful surprise. Do tell, are you a lost peacock in need of some direction or a misunderstood butterfly seeking artistic inspiration? Oh, I'm a fairy that's just escaped some terrible gnomes that want to kill me. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
terribly sorry, my dear, but I'm afraid I simply cannot associate myself with anyone who has such... Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, God. Oh, no. The police are after us. Oh, my God. Bro, I got an AK-47. Holy shit. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Wait, this is, this is crazy. I have a knife? An AK-47 and a knife? Greetings, fellow traveler. Someone has been bullying me at school. <laughs> Would you care to come on with my adventure with me? <clears throat> By the gods! What's them? What manner of adventure are thou? With thy fearsome garb and weaponry. Pray tell me, what brings thee to my abode at such an unholy hour? Oh, Greg! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hang on, I gotta, hang on. How do I cancel this? <laughs> How do I cancel this? I gotta wait till it, okay. <clears throat> Gweg, I'm really glad I found you. You see, I was getting bullied at school, and you're the only friend that I have. Literally. <laughs> Fear not, young adventurer. It warms my dungeon master's heart to be able to be thy friend in times of trouble. Tell me thy tale, and together we shall strategize a solution to thine woes. Well, Gweg, everyone's been bullying me at school, and... It kind of makes me want to do something really bad to them. What do you think I should do, Widowly? <laughs> um, uh, uh, uh. Ah, young warrior, revenge may seem tempting, but violence shall only perpetuate, per perpetuate the cycle of pain. Instead, I beseech thee to seek counsel from a trusted adult, for they may guide thee towards a path of resolution and understanding. Remember, truth. True strength lies not in harm, but in forging bonds of friendship and compassion. Oh, Greg, you literally know what to say every time I'm in trouble. Literally. <laughs> uh -huh. I am honored by thy kind words, noble warrior. Tis my duty as a dungeon master to offer guidance and support when thou art in need. Know that I shall always be here for thee, ready to lend mine ear and wisdom. May thy path be filled with triumph and camaraderie. Greg, you're literally the only friend I ever had. And to be honest, I kind of wish we were more than friends. Literally. Come on, bro. This, this has to work. <laughs> oh, ah, brave warrior. Thou dost flatter me with thy words. However, I must confess that as a dungeon master, my heart lies in the realms of imagination and adventure. Let our friendship endure as a steadfast bond built upon shared tales and heroic quests. Oh, Greg, it breaks my heart to hear you say that, but I understand, literally. Do you think I could get a hug? Literally? I do apologize, noble warrior, but physical affection is not within my realms of capability. However, I send thee an imaginary embrace filled with warm and comfort. Oh, Greg, I'm going to come back here and firebomb your friggin' house, literally. I hope you know that. <laughs> literally. I'm going to literally burn you to the fucking ground, Greg. I hope you know. Oh my god. I'm an angel. Okay. This could work. This could- Ah! This could work. Ah! Oh my god, there's cops everywhere. Fucking cops, man. Okay, this could work. Oh my, what an unexpected sight, I must say, darling. Your choice of attire is rather unconventional. How may I assist you in this fine evening? Tell me, Preston, do you believe in God? <laughs> Darling, discussing matters of religion is hardly a topic benefiting of our refined conversation. Let us focus on more important matters, shall we? Oh, Preston, 
God will smite thee, non-believers. You are in the presence of a true angel. Preston, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Is he gonna believe this? I'm terribly sorry, but I simply cannot continue this conversation. Good day to you, sir. I knew I shouldn't have bought any estate near the crazy home. Damn it. No, it's crazy. I don't know why I th would have thought that the uh, the angel sitch would work. Oh my god. Uh, we have some... <laughs> this is literally what the cops are hearing right now. Uh, we have reports of uh, a citizen going house to house uh, asking to come inside. Uh, last seen wearing... Uh, and, uh, this might sound crazy, I hate to say it, but a fairy costume and Wielding a knife? I know it sounds weird, but uh, that's the description we've been receiving. Keep your eye out. Over. <laughs> Alright, uh... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think we need uh, a more legitimate outfit, you know? Something that isn't, like, isn't too crazy, okay? Ooh, bow to the peaky fucking blinders! <laughs> A technician. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Oh fucking hell! There's a lot of people about. Okay. Technician. Technician. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, Konnichiwa, fellow otaku. Oh my god. OMG. You must be an adventurous photographer on a quest to capture the most kawaii moments. Yatta! How can I assist you in your epic quest? Fuck. I'm going to fucking kill you. Konnichiwa, fellow otaku. I was just hoping that I would be able to engage in a discussion about my little pony with you. Oh, Konnichiwa, huh? fellow brony. <laughs> oh my goodness, I absolutely love my little pony. Who's your favorite pony? Mine's Pinkie Pie because she's so energetic and brings so much joy to every episode. Let's dig into this wonderful world of Equestria, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> oh boy, you love Pinkie Pie? My favorite is Rainbow Dash. I actually keep a figurine of her in a jar. Wanna see? <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I would absolutely love to see your Rainbow Dash figurine. It must be so awesome to have a piece of pony magic right at your fingertips. Show me, show me, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh boy, I sure would love to show you that jar, but it's kind of a secret. Are you sure you won't tell anyone about it? <laughs> oh, I understand the importance of secrets, but I'm really sorry. I can't promise that I won't tell anyone. It's best to keep your treasures hidden anyway, nay? Maybe we can talk- No, don't shut the- Fuck. You know what? Alright, we'll just try the next door. Uh, we gotta figure out. We gotta figure out another strategy to that. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Nick Claus? Okay, like 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 Santa. I thought I had him. I thought I had him with the jar. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A techie in a jolly disguise. What kind of shenanigans are you up to, my little repair elf? Oh boy, I'm glad I caught you. Nick? Fuck. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Hubba hubba. Has Christmas come early? Oh, or am I just looking at the man of my dreams? Huh. But you'd probably never like me. Hey, hello. 
Oh dear, I'm flattered, but you see, I've got a half three sizes too small. So I'm a. F this is your best ever stream. With <laughs> accents, the firebombing threats and character changes are hilarious. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the five dollars as well. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Oh dear, I'm flattered, but you see, I've got a heart that's three sizes too small. I'm a so I'm afraid I can't fulfill your dreams. But hey, you're never too old to know what the future holds. Oh, you're right. You probably would never like a little guy like me from a small town like this. Oh boy, what was I thinking? Oh my dear little repairman, don't be so hard on yourself. Maybe I've misjudged you. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Oh man, I was sure I thought that would work. Okay, okay, it's alright, it's alright. No, I don't want the tech shit. Okay, maybe I do, maybe I do. Oh my god, I just got naked. My wig! Shit. Alright, bald it is. Uh, hopefully this person doesn't care about hair too much. <clears throat> alright, Mr. East. Mr. East? Like Mr. Beast? Hey there, tech guy! Welcome to the channel. What brings you here so late at night? Excited to see what you've got in that backpack. Let's dive into it. Keep it wacky. Wow. Wow. Sorry to be bothering you so late, but I got reports that there may be a problem with your internet connection, Mr. East. Uh -huh. Huh? That's weird. I haven't noticed any issues with my internet connection. Are you sure everything's okay? I'm always cautious when it comes to tech stuff. Of course, I'm not doubting your cautiousness, Mr. East. But that is what the reports say. It might be an issue that you can't detect without special equipment. Oh, no, he probably, he's not going to buy this. He's not going to buy this. He's not going to buy it. <laughs> hmm, I see what you're saying. Special equipment, huh? Well, I'm always up for a challenge. A $10,000 challenge on this mystery island. <laughs> Why don't you enlighten me on what exactly this problem is and how you plan to fix it? Let's explore this together. Well, you see, Mr. East, the internet runs on something called Hertz. Usually it's on a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz network, but yours is operating on a different Hertz frequency. Oh, I've heard of those frequencies before. So what you're saying is my internet is running at a unique hertz frequency? That's pretty fascinating. How do we go about fixing this then? I'm all ears. Well, first I'm going to have to take a look at your internet box and make sure it's operating correctly. Then trace the problem to the source of the issue. Huh? That sounds like a plan. I've always... It's always good to get to the root of the problem. All right, tech guy, let's do this. Lead the way to the internet box, and let's get this issue sorted once and for all. I'm ready to tackle any tech challenge. Fantastic. Please, I would love to assist you. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate your willingness to help. Come in, tech guy. Let's get this internet mystery solved together. Woohoo! Okay, Mr. East. Now... Give me a million dollars. Literally right now. <laughs> this would have been a hit. A million likes. Fucking hell. We're only halfway done, chat. We're an hour and a half in. This is perfect. This is great. I love this. I love this. Uh, blonde quiff. Man, if Mr. Beast was blonde, bro, that would be... That would be crazy. That would be a crazy story. Yo, dude, I haven't watched you for like two years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when were you watching me? God damn. Alright. Uh... Should we prank someone? Let's prank this guy. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what this... Uh... Let's see if we can get this otaku. Oh, wait. This is Santa. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, well, if it isn't Mr. East, what brings you to my humble abode at such an ungodly hour? Oh, never mind. I guess I see what hilarious I guess I'll see what hilarious shenanigans you got cooked up this time. 
What's going on, Nick Clothes? Today we're doing a video where we give $10,000 to anybody that lets us inside. Oh, ho, ho, ho! You think you can bribe your way into my lair with your measly $10,000? Well, guess what, Mr. East? You can take your money and shove it! I won't be a part of this! Wow. Alright. Note to self, don't bribe Santa. Okay. So, good to good to know. Alright, let me... I need to get that hair. I don't really want to dress like Mr. Beast anymore. Mr. East. Oh, look at that switch right there. That was crazy. Ah! Okay. All right, let's see if this guy recognizes me. It's the Hello. otaku guy. Oh, fuck off. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. <laughs> that sucks. I'm S Sakura, the ultimate kawaii magical girl. Sugoi. <laughs> fuck, you know. You look just like a maid from my favorite anime. What? What? I don't even look anything like a maid. Are you here to grant me my magical powers too? Yatta! Oh, fuck's sake. What do I even say to this person? Fucking, yeah, literally. Yep, yeah, FYM creeper, I think you're right. Okay, um. <clears throat> uh, okay, how do I get inside a weeb? A weeb's house. A weeb's house. How do I do this? How do I do this? Um. We're giving away $10,000 worth of deodorant. No, they'd never wear that. Um, um, hmm, what else? What else? What else? Uh, hmm. We've got an early copy of the brand new Evangelion movie. No, they would never leave their house. They would never leave their house to watch it in cinemas. Um, hmm. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, hmm. Hmm. There's something here. There is something here. We've got an anime body pillow. Free body pillows. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's good. That is good. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Konnichiwa, Sakura. <laughs> I'm Sakura. Fuck. How do I cancel this? Oh, I gotta wait for it to play out. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Sakura. I'm glad I caught you at this late hour. I needed some help choosing a good anime to watch. I'm always here to help a fellow anime enthusiast in need. Please tell me what type of anime you're in the mood for, and I'll do my very best to recommend something sugoi for you. Well, to be honest with you, Sakura. I really like the anime where the women have really big boobies. Do you know any anime like that? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I am. Oh, uh, there's definitely anime series that focus on um, that aspect if you're interested. But uh, I believe there are many other amazing animes with diverse themes and captivating stories that you might enjoy too. Would you like me to recommend some of those as well? <laughs> no, just the booby ones, please. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can help you with that request. I appreciate your interest in anime, but I think it's best if we don't continue our conversashi. C conversation? Arigato. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. All right, we gotta choose a different outfit. All right, all right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No, just the booby ones, please. <laughs> um, actually, just the booby ones, please. Mm, no thanks, just the booby ones. Thank you. I oh, really appreciate it. Just the booby ones, please. Oh fuck. Yeah, what gave it away that I'm suspicious? Okay. You can grab a cop's hat? Can you really? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look at this guy. You can see him inside. 
All right, all right, all right. I'm going back to Mr. Claus's plate. Fuck, I've been turned around. Oh my god, I just weaved that guy so hard. Um, where's the Santa Claus guy? He's not down here. He's like... Oh, wait, he's on this side, right? Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, so the middle one is Santa, I think. I'm gonna see if Santa will let me in. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, uh, which one's Santa? I think it's this one. Is this Santa? Or is this the anime guy again? Oh, it's Santa! Oh, I don't know. Ho, ho, ho! Looks like someone's lost their way to the beach, huh? What brings you here, my little sunbather? Oh, Nick! I was so glad I found you! A man s jumped me and he robbed all my clothes off me! Goodness gracious, that sounds like a terrible idea, my dear exhibitionist. <laughs> Have no fear, Santa is here to help. Let me find you some warm clothes to wear. But before that, have you been naughty or nice this year? Oh, Santa, you know me. I've I've been so nice. The nicest! You know that! Check your list, check it twice! Well, 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 if it isn't the nicest exhibitionist in town. Ho, ho, ho. I'm glad to hear that. As Santa, it's my duty to spread joy, so I'll do what I can to help you. Come on in and let's find you something warm to wear, my dear friend. Oh, that'd be great. Also, I'm homeless and I need a job. C can I work at the North Pole with you? Or is that too far? Oh, well, well, a job at the North Pole, you say? Ho, 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 that's quite an ambitious request, my friend. Well, I admire your enthusiasm. I'm afraid the workload in the toy factory can be quite challenging. However, don't lose hope. Let's find you a job closer to home, shall we? Oh, boy, Santa, you're the best. <laughs> ho, 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 thank you, my friend. It's always delightful to see someone filled with such joy. Now let's get you some clothes and discuss finding your job. Stay right here, and I'll be back with some warm attire for you. Oh boy, thank you, Santa. If it's not too much to ask, can I come inside for a minute? It's awful cold out here without any clothes on. Don't kill Santa? Fuck, yeah, fuck Santa, bro. Good. My dear Expeditious, I can't have you freezing out there. Come on in just for a moment while I find some clothes for you. But remember, not your nice. We're keeping it G-rated. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! Ho, oh, oh, ho, no! Oh my god, I did it. I killed Santa. You killed Santa, you bastard. His clothes disappeared. Aw. Oh, hang on. I got one. Oh, I got, I got his mustache. What else did I get? Come on, there's got to be something. Maybe it's around the back of the house. All right, let's, let's see if we can. Oh, fuck! Okay, all right. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Okay. Oh, all right. Cool. We got like a fireman's outfit. Sorry, guys. I had to, I had to kill Santa. I, oh my god, there are so many people there. Alright, alright. Alright, this should work. This should work. This next one should work. Hello, I'm oh, great. It's you again. What do you want this time? Probably salt in the wound of my recent heartbreak? Can't you see I'm in not, not in your mood for shenanigans? Heartbreak, you say? Well, you're speaking to the right man. I could help with that, you know. Help! Ha! Would you possibly do to ease the pain of my shattered heart? It's not like you're Santa or anything. Oh, but my dear child, I am Santa. I know. Shocking. <laughs> Wait, you're actually Santa, like the real deal, but. Why are you dressed like that? And why are you here? Oh, my dear child. I do this every year as a part of my charity work. I help those who have had their hearts broken. Just as I did once. Well, 
if you really are a Santa and have been through heartbreak yourself, maybe you can offer some advice or a little holiday cheer. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I'm, I'm fucking married to Mrs. Claus. Who do you think I am? Should have swiped left on this. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Oh, fuck. Dude, this is it. This is the run, bro. This is the run. Fudge boy, thank you for the five months Hello. membership, dude. No, Santa. Love you, Pookie Bear, Poopy Pie, Fruity Tooty Jackson. Good night, chat. Night, Fudge boy. <laughs> oh God, it's this guy. <sighs> Konnichiwa, neighbor son. How can I serve your family's presence on this joyous evening? Sakura, I'm afraid to tell you that I have some grave news. Are you sure you're ready to hear it? Oh, no, neighbor son. That sounds super serious. I'm not ready for grave news, but I hope it turns out okay for you. It's your grave news, you idiot. Oh, you fucking idiot. God damn it. This guy's a tough nut to crack. Fucking anti-social bastards. <laughs> Fuck. All right, all right, all right. We need a different outfit. We need just like a regular run-of-the-mill average outfit. Okay. Is that... Oh, that's... Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know about the mustache, though. Oh, I've just worn it again. Oh, I've just... Just... Okay. All right. I, I reckon, I reckon this is it. This is it. If I can just sneak past these guys. Okay. I'm going to crack it this time. Oh, God! Almost. Okay. I'm going to sneak through the back here. Go around. Frank is barking in his sleep at the moment. He is dreaming a sweet lullaby. Okay. Look at this weaving right now. Oh, my God. These cops have no idea. They have the... The smallest peripheral vision. No peripheral vision, really. Okay. I'm gonna get this fucking anime bastard. If it's my life, it's the last thing I do! Night, Hello. Frappe. Hello. Why do you gulp like a cartoon character? Oh. You guys notice that? Oh boy. This one's gonna be hard to explain. <laughs> Ohio Kazemasu! How kawaii of you to come knocking on my door at this late hour. What brings you here? I'm going to fucking murder you. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Say you found an Easter egg in Naruto. Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> well, sorry for bothering you so late at night, Sakura, but I just had to tell you this secret Easter egg I found in Naruto. Oh my goodness! An Easter egg in Naruto! That's so sugoi! Please tell me all about it! I'm dying to know, Kawaii! Oh, it's a crazy Easter egg. Naruto is actually a woman! And she gets pregnant in the manga. I don't know. Eh? That can't be right! Naruto is a boy, and he's the... Hokage, not a pregnant woman. Are you sure you got your facts straight, Baka? I won't believe it until I see it myself. No, it's true, Sakura. You have to believe me. I have the comic book in my pocket. You gotta believe me. Believe it. <laughs> I should have hit him with that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I just can't believe such a strange claim without proper evidence. Please understand, but I think it's best we end this conversation here. Goodbye. Fuck's sake. Fucking knocking on the door again! Oi! Oh no! I can't believe my beloved Naruto would be pregnant! It's just so shocking, but I'm sorry, I just can't accept this down any proof. So I have to say, bye bye. Fuck. Alright. New outfit alert. Okay. No one will ever suspect me in a slightly different outfit. 
This guy is a tough nut to crack. He just wants to get back to gooning. I think you're right. All right, let's take a break from this guy and let's go up here. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many cops. God, a couple people get murdered. And this is what happens. Who would have thought? All right, all right, all right. This seems, this is a massive house. This person's going to be loaded. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, he's got an eye patch! Hey there, soupy groovy friend. What brings you to my humble abode at this funky hour? Let's keep the beats pumping and a good vibes flowing. Elon Zuck? Oh my god, he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire, All right? How do I how do I tackle this billionaire? Um Okay. How do I tackle this? Elon Zuck. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Nice eye patch, loser. Nah, that's not gonna work. I don't know why I, I don't know why I started it like Ow. that. Oh, dude, that's not cool. If you're gonna be spreading negativity, I'm not about to have that. Good day, but I can't let you in. Peace out. Then where I got this? Oh, excuse me. Like I totally shut the door on you before. I'm just like not interested in whatever you're selling or preaching. So like, I'm totally right day elsewhere. Bye. Whoa! I don't know how I made it around that guy. Ah! Okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Ooh, okay, hang on. Greetings. Okay, okay. I just stripped out. I wanted to like, uh, I was I was hoping I could be like, ah, someone stole all my clothes. Gee, gee willikers. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Wow, I have food. Heading home now, so I'll just be listening. Hopefully, you'll still be streaming when I get home. If not, have a good stream, Jackson. Thanks, Angie. Hope you have a good uh, drive home. Good luck. Hey there, Mister. Hey there, Mister. Serious suit. What brings you to my humble abode on this oh so adventurous night, sir? It's about the stocks. We have to talk. Uh-oh. Stocks talk? No thanks. I'm allergic to numbers and serious stuff. Best of luck with your stocks, though. You're fucking kidding me. Oh my god. You... Come on. Come on. Come on. So sorry, but I'm on a tech high right now. I can't handle a stock buzzkill. You got a creature. For fuck's sake. Fuck! Huh? That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, where did my headphones go? My headphones? Where did they go? Wait. Wait. Where did the headphones go? No! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Heather, big boy. <laughs> hey there, Night Dweller. Excuse me for being like a noob, but you're a mass superhero ready to join the tech empire. How can I help you? Rise and shine. Hey, big boy. I was hoping I'd run into you. <laughs> oh, hey there. It's your lucky day, then. What brings you to my murdy lair, mast and all? Maybe we can brainstorm some epic ideas together. Or we'll just have a good laugh. To be honest, I saw you the other day, and your eye patch really struck me as handsome. Oh, you noticed my eye patch. Why, thank you, but uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something important here. Maybe we can chat another time when I'm not, like, in the middle of being a tech wizard. Catch you on the flip side. Fuck sake. Alright, 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 alright. Ah, hey, right. whoa, like, what's going on, Red Hoodie, dude? You caught me in late night innovating session. What's your gig? My gig? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Just a little something called a revolutionary hair growth serum. Well, hold the phone. A hair growth serum? That's totally cutting edge. Tell me more. I'm all ears. Well, not literally. It's top secret confidential, so there's only so much I can talk about, but I don't know. Are you interested?
Oh my gosh, I'm like totally interested. I mean, who wouldn't want luscious locks? Can you hook me up with a VIP sample? Maybe we can talk business. I could definitely think about booking a VIP sample for you, but what could you do for me instead? I mean, in return. What could you do for me in return? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this, this guy doesn't get the, the fucking scam right now. I'm bald. Hmm, let's see. How about we strike a deal? I'll connect you with some influential tech influencers who might be interested in your hair growth serum, and I'll give you exclusive access to our latest tech updates. It's a win-win, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a bit of a win. Wow. You really have a great vision, don't you? You know? Vision? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you totally get me. Vision is like everything. We tech influencers have to stay ahead of the game, you know? We're not visionaries. Then who would we be? I don't know why he said this. Wasn't he like this before? Let's make big things happen together. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a plan. So, shall we go inside and discuss this further? This has got to work, right? Surely we've got him. We've got this guy. Absolutely. I've got so many ideas swirling around. It's like a brainstorm hurricane in here. Come on in, Red Hoodie Dude. Let's dive into some deep, into some exciting world of tech and collaborations. Okay. If you insist. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. We'll go to the tech party, Red Hoodie Dude. Let's make some magic happen together. Come on in. Just let me in. Thank you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot! Oh my god, feels good. Perfect. Look at that hair. It was a toupee the whole time. He was struggling with uh, <laughs> with hair growth. I knew it. Damn, this is a nice sweater, bro. But I think the red hoodie is kind of working for me. I'm not gonna lie. Ask the next guy if he's Freddy Fazbear. And then what? Is he supposed to die of cringe or something like that? <laughs> Am I right? You know what? I'll ask the otaku guy about um, Freddy Fazbear. Have you heard of Freddy Fazbear? What's this? Oh my god. Where's all the rum gone? Am I right? Uh, Why is all the rum gone? Wait. Is that what he says? <laughs> Wow. Say I it? bought you a new anime pack. If you let me in, I'll give it to you. Ohio Gazaimu, Kawaii person kun. All right. It's so sugoi to see someone in the middle of the night. Yeah. What brings you to my humble abode? Hi hi. Fucking kill me, brother. <clears throat> I think you got to know a little bit of anime to get the W. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> I just watched my parents die right in front of me. Just like that one scene in Attack on Titan. Please. Have you seen Attack on Titan? <laughs> Did that work? This one work. No, that's so tragic, but I'm um, sorry I can't invite you in right now. Please take care of yourself. Fuck, I, did, I don't know why I thought that would happen. But that would work. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's fine. God, I just, every time, I, I fail every time. Oh my God, everyone has discovered me. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. All right, let's, bold tech guy. Okay. Ooh, what about this? What about a bit, little bit of food maybe? Food delivery guy? Okay, okay, okay. L's, bro. I know, I know. Well, how Kazaimu? How kawaii? A midnight delivery. I was just about to rewatch my favorite anime for the 10th time. Arigato Kazaimu for coming so late. I'm super excited for my box meal. Of course. Uh, here's your box meal. What anime were you going to watch? I love anime myself. Wow, Sugoi. You love anime too? That's amazing. I was planning on rewatching Sailor Moon. It's so kawaii, and the transformations are so epic. What's your favorite anime? Oh, Sailor Moon. I do love Sailor Moon. But 
my favorite anime are the tentacle ones. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, tentacle anime? Go men aside, but that's not really my cup of tea. My cup of matcha? Appreciate your delivery, but I... Oh, bro. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We don't make it sexual. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, that makes... That actually makes a lot of sense, I'll be honest. All right, we're actually going to go for the win this time. And... Um... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I just need to find... I just need to find some fucking clothes to put on! It can't be this hard. Where are the... Where, where are some clothes? There's... Maybe there's, uh, clothes in this tech one here, right? I found... You tell them you found the one piece? Bro, that act, that's so crazy, it just might work. Oh my god. <clears throat> right. Alright, alright, alright. I'm dressed as an old man. What can an old man possibly do to- SHIT! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is not going well. This is not going well, chat. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, we got this. Just get a fucking costume. Alright, put that on. What are we? What are we? What are we right now? Oh. Okay. Alright, an old lady. Okay. We're like a Karen, right? That's that's who that's who this character was. What the fuck? You just whipped on me! Dude, he he had the auto aim on just then. What the fuck? Alright, alright. I'll sneak through here. No, they'll they'll, they'll, never, they'll never expect this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's never seen a woman, this just might work. <laughs> you could be onto something here. Oh my god, hide behind the plant. Wait! I was hiding behind the plant! Okay, turn to a bat. Escape. Caw caw, caw caw! Dumbass. Okay. Okay, wait for him to turn around. Alright, just gonna sneak up here. Okay, I'm an old lady again. Now don't turn around. Oh god. <laughs> go to the door, go to the door! Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, oh, Zemo. Can I help you with something? Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Greetings. Sorry it's so late. Uh, I'm terribly sorry for bothering you, but I was just wondering if you like Sailor Moon? Gosh! Yes! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Sailor Moon. It's like one of my best enemies ever created, Kawaii Desu. Who's your favorite Sailor Moon scout? Mine's definitely Sailor Mars. She's so fiery and cool. Oh, yes, she's lovely, but... Call me old-fashioned, but I enjoy Sailor Moon myself. How's it going? Arigato Gazemas, Senpai! <laughs> it's super great to meet someone who. You're not gonna shut the door on me, are you? Oh! Bruh! That was so easy! You fucking idiot! That was so easy! Did this happen in the manga is the last, the final words? That was so easy! <laughs> All I had to do was say I like Sailor Moon. She was like, let's talk about this inside. I've never wanted to fuck someone. So much in my life. In fact. Alright. Great. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. Um. Ne oh, shit. You're never gonna catch me! You're never gonna catch me! Okay. What if I... I reckon I can just... Yeah. Okay. The AI is not very good in this. Okay. Okay, I'm like a back. Oh my god! <laughs> hey there, adventurous soul. What brings you to my cosmic abode? 
um, <laughs> a fellow exhibitionist. <laughs> oh, greetings, Eve Breeze. I see you are a fellow exhibitionist like myself. Ah, an appreciator of au natural living, I see. It's truly liberating to embrace our natural selves, isn't it? How's your journey into nudism been so far? Oh, yes, quite liberating indeed. I love feeling the breeze tickle my... calves. <laughs> my calves, uh, not cuffs. Uh, oh, that's certainly... Um, um, unique, but, uh, I think it's time for me to go. Close the door now. Take care of your new nudist adventures. Bye. What? The fuck? What the hell? That's bullshit. Hmm. Hmm. Could be onto something here. Could be onto something. Round two. Round two. I am sabotaging myself by... Hey there, wild child. Welcome to my humble abode, server. What groovy adventure shall we embark upon tonight? Oh my, a fellow nudist. Well, I never. How are you this evening, Eve? Oh my. My soul is as free as the wind, my friend. Just grooving and basking in the beauty of nature. How about you? The nudist life treating you? Oh, the nudist life is treating me fantastically. Tell me, Eve, how did you become a nudist? Just make some conversation, you know. Ah, oh, my journey into nudism was like a blossoming flower, man. I always felt a deep connection to nature and letting go of clothes just felt like the most natural thing, you know? It's all about freedom and embracing our bodies as they are. Peace and love, baby. Yes, yeah, true. I feel freer than the day I was born. <laughs> In fact, that's why they call it the birthday suit. <laughs> oh, that sucked. That sucked. I'm sorry. That's not my best. That's not my best. <laughs> <laughs> right on. The birthday suit, man. It's the most comfortable outfit to will ever wear. No restrictions. No limits. Just pure, unadulterated freedom. Keep it groovy, my friend. <laughs> So, being a nudist, is it blasphemous to perhaps wear a hat sometimes? Maybe when it's like super sunny? Um, uh -huh. Oh, that's an interesting question, man. Some nudists may feel that wearing a hat goes against the spirit of complete nudity, but others might see it as a way to protect themselves from the sun. It really depends on the nudist's personal beliefs and comfort level. Whatever floats your duck, interlube, intertube. Whatever floats your ducky intertube, I say. Yes, so true. Tell me, do you have any spare sunscreen I could borrow? It does get quite dangerous being nude in the sun all the time. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Oh, oh, absolutely, my friend. I've got some all-natural cruelty-free sunscreen I can cock to myself using coconut oil and essential oils, man. It's perfect way to it's the perfect way to protect your beautiful sun kissed skin. Come on in, I'll slather you up with some peace and protection. Oh, thank you, Eve. You are a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. Alright, alright, alright. Ha ha you got it, my friend. I'm always here to help offer a helping hand and some good vibes. Just head on in and we'll make sure you're all covered in the most peaceful, sun safe way possible. Peace and love, my fellow nudists. Ha <laughs> ha! Peace and love, my fellow nudist. Woohoo! You've embraced the spirit, my friend. Come on in. Kick off those shoes and let's dance our way to the nudist paradise together. The door's open. I'm not wearing any shoes, you fucking blind idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This bite's more than the cold. Easy. That was an easy win. That was an easy win by us. It really was. All right. Hell yeah, we're in, we're in nude as well. Mm. Oh. All right. What is uh? What is this called? A camper's backpack. 
Okay, all right. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. These people here. Oh, who's this? <laughs> Regina. Ah, what is this? A costume party? If you're lost, you can just turn around and leave. But if you're here to entertain me, I suppose you can give it a try. Regina, sorry for bothering you so late, but I was out camping off of I-95 and my tent got destroyed by a bear. <laughs> oh my gosh, why would I care about your stupid camping mishap? Take your bear problems elsewhere, loser. Fuck you, then. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's try someone else, I guess. Let's try you. Regina's not oh my god! Oh. Father Price. Greetings, Noble Wanderer. Why does why does Father Price remind me of, like Captain Price? Greetings, Noble Wanderer. <laughs> How's the Lord bless your travels? Let's give thanks and rejoice in his everlasting grace. Okay. Oh, praise be, I found another God loving person. Unfortunately, I was camping off of I-95 and my tent got attacked by a bear. Okay. Oh dear traveler, I'm sorry to hear your misfortune. Fear not, for the Lord is with thee, even in the face of danger. Oh wait, that's not how he sounds. Have you sustained any injuries? Wait, why is he Jason Statham now? Have you sustained any injuries? <laughs> the only injuries I've sustained are... The ones inside my mind. I managed to get off unscathed, but the bear broke my mobile phone. Oh, brother. The, devil's, the devil works in mysterious ways. But fear not, for the Lord will provide. Have you found any shelter in this desolate place? <laughs> I have not found any shelter. In fact... That was kind of what I was hoping you'd help me with. Being the good Samaritan that you are. This has got to work, bro. This has got to work. Yo, Flavie, thank you for the five-month membership. Hi, Jackson. Today's my birthday. I have now 13. Why? You're 13? Wow. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, my dear friend. It's not by chance that our paths have crossed. The Lord sent me to lend a helping hand in your time of need. Come. Let's seek refuge in the warmth of my humble abode. Um, had I have known you, known you were Father Price, I'm actually, I'm actually 11 years old. <laughs> would, would you, the priest, would you be able to comfort me tonight? My 11 year old, my 11 year old self? Oh, praise be to the Lord. Thank you, Father Price. I will never forget this. Uh -huh. Rejoice, my child, for the Lord works in mysterious ways. Come, enter my own and find warmth and solace. Let's thanks. Did I mention I'm 11? Ah, oh, praise Whoa. be. <laughs> this isn't the con conversion I was hoping for. Oh my god, wait. What if I said I was gay? Damn, I kind of wish he was still alive. What if I was like, I'm gay and I need to be converted? Would that work? Surely not, right? <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> if if you had just said you were an 11 year old boy, you would have instantly been brought inside. That's what I'm thinking. I'm an 11 year old boy. Please. All right. Will this work? Will they recognize me as the father from next door, or will I be able to do a new character? Oh, uh, late night visitor. How dare you disturb my elegant slumber. State your presence and make it quick. I'm sorry for bothering you so late, Preston, but uh, <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood, and I saw that you have snails in your garden. Snails in my garden, you say? How utterly dreadful. 
I suppose I shall have to uh, attend to them at once, but really, do you, did you have nothing better to do than wander about my property in the dead of night? I know it sounds strange, but I'm the neighborhood snail inspector. It's my job, you know. <laughs> Surely that's not going to work. A snail inspector, you say? Well, I suppose that's someone important role. I thought, though I must admit, never heard of it before. Very well. You may inspect my snails, but make it quick. I have no time to waste on such trivial matters. Of course, I'll make it quick. But you know, I better warn you right now. These snails have been known to come inside. Come inside many places. <laughs> oh dear, inside you say? That simply will not do. I cannot tolerate any kind of intrusion in my luxurious abode. Very well, you may inspect the snails. But be swift though, I expect nothing less. Oh, I'll be swift, all right. Swifter than a swift car down a highway. And that's swift. <laughs> well, well, it seems you possess some semblance of competence after all. Consider yourself invited inside, dear snail inspector. Haha, <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> snail inspector, this guy is an idiot. This is simply beneath me. Oh my god. This guy is so dumb. <laughs> Go so dumb. Snail inspector bit really worked. Alright. What about this one? Is this the oh this is the nerd. This is the nerdy nerdy guy. Okay, okay. What do we got for this guy? Hello, yeah. Greetings, weary traveler. That's not how we sounded. Greetings, weary traveler. Pray tell what brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour. Oh, I bring terrible news, Greg. It's, it's Dungeons and Dragons. They're canceling it. Oh, how dreadful. But fear not. The tales of adventure shall never be extinguished. We shall find ways to keep the spirit of Dungeons and Dragons alive, even if it means forging our own realms of imagination. Oh, yes, Greg, you're so right. In fact, in lieu of knowing that Dungeons and Dragons was going to be canceled, I actually have... The last copy. I was going to say, do you want to take a look? But that's fine. Oh, yeah. By the gods, do you possess the very last copy? That's a treasure worthy of the mightiest dragons. Might I have the privilege of beholding it? Oh, Greg, I would love to give you the privilege of holding it, but it is so precious. May I come inside and make sure it's out of this harsh weather? Surely that works. Surely that works. You honor me with your trust, noble office worker. Allow me to open the doors of my domain to provide shelter for your precious relic. Come on, step into the warmth of my humble abode. Oh, Greg, you are too kind. You are too kind. <laughs> your words humble me, dear office worker. Your gratitude is a gift in itself. Please enter and let us safeguard your precious Dungeons and Dragons book. My god, it worked! Oh. That was good. I felt good about that. I felt clever. I felt like a genius, actually. Okay. What do we got next? What do we got next? Dude, I'm on a roll. I'm figuring out how to lie to these people so easily. What should our next lie be? What should I... What should I go with, chat? Give me some... <laughs> what should I say next? Alright, who we got here? Who we got? Oh, it's this one. Hello. Oh, who are you? And what on earth are you doing at my door at this hour? I hope you really have a good explanation for interrupting my beauty sleep. <clears throat> um, interesting. She likes beauty sleep. Say I'm a virgin? Yeah, bro, that ain't gonna work, bro. That ain't gonna work. Um, okay, uh, let's, let's go with... Uh... Oh my god, Regina, I'm so glad you I caught you. Do you have a copy of Mean Girls on Blu-ray?
Seriously? You think I would waste my time with a movie like Mean Girls? Please, that's so basic. But fine, I might have a copy somewhere. Why do you even want to watch it? Are you trying to study my flawless tactics? Okay, uh... Well... Truth be told... I, uh... <laughs> actually thought... Their beauty reminded me of you. How dare you compare the peasant girls to me! Get away from my door before I ruin your sorry existence! Oh, fuck's sake. She's a real... She's a real piece of work. She's a real piece of work. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this, I got this. Wait, what is this? Oh my god. What is this? Oh, this is like the otaku chick, right? Okay, no, I don't want to wear... I don't want to wear that. What if we get a doctor's uniform, right? If we find the doctor uniform, which I think is... Where did I leave it? That's a business casual outfit. Um, where did I leave the doctor's outfit? Guys, guys, policemen, do you know where the doctor's outfit is? It's gotta be down here, right? No? Okay. Um, shit. Well, I got the construction worker's outfit again. Alright, maybe we can do something with this. This is where we sleep? In a garage? That's crazy. Alright. Anyway. I've got minus riz? That's so not true. That's so not true. A f mini fridge backpack? Ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. Sneak through here. A steampunk top hat. That's hilarious. Um. Okay, Regina's down there, right? Oh shit! Oh god. Okay. We're okay. Sneak down here. A casual lab fit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, bunny ears. Perfect. <clears throat> Oh, well, well, what do we have here? Another late night visitor? How delightfully unexpected. But seriously, what's up with the bunny ears? Greetings, Regina. Congratulations. You have just won most beautiful woman of the month for... Uh, fuck. No, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Um, how about this? Um, greetings, Regina. I'm glad to... Uh, nah, that sucks as well. That sucks as well. Okay, okay. Uh, how about... How about... Okay, I got one. I got one. I got one. Greetings, Regina. Um, <clears throat> Greetings, Regina. We're running a survey on makeup brands, and I saw your beautiful face and knew I had to get your opinion. Oh, please. Go on. Not every day I get compliments on my beautiful face. So, what do you want to know about makeup brands? I'm all ears, bunny scientist. Uh, well, we've actually been testing a brand new product that uses retinol serum to decrease wrinkle lines. I don't know. Is this going to work? Uh, whoa. Wrinkle lines? Are you implying that I have wrinkles? How dare you? But I must admit, the idea of the new product does intrigue me. Tell me more about this retinol serum magic you're talking about. Oh, Regina, I'm not implying that at all. You are gorgeous to die for. But this retinol serum... Uh, fuck. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, um, okay, okay. Tell me more about this retinol serum magic you're talking about. Oh, retinol serum isn't magic, honey. It's science. Beauty science. Not that you need beauty science because you're so drop dead gorgeous as it is. <laughs> Pookie. <laughs> oh, it canceled. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, honey. It's not retinol serum magic. It's retinol serum science. You're beautiful, by the way. I don't know. Fuck. That might ruin it. That oh, hello, officer. Oh, well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Since you've been so kind, I suppose I can let you in and hear more about your retinal serum science, but only because you said I'm beautiful. Not the brightest. <laughs>
You're like literally killing me. <laughs> yeah. So whatever. I knew that would work. I kind of knew that would work. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's what the angel wings were for. Was it for the the God fearing person? Was that was that what those were for? Okay. I think we've killed like everyone on this street, right? I want to suck you off. I mean, I want to suck your blood. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god. He's a he's a frat boy. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what would I be doing here so late at night? A police baton? What the fuck? Oh, if I had the... If I had like a police uniform? How do I get a police uniform? I feel like that would be so busted. What's this one? This is a pants suit. Ah, this is... That's not what I want. Um, that was Santa's house, wasn't it? This one? A work casual attire. Hmm. Okay. What if I, what if I'm a scientist? Sa oh my God, this guy has a gun. Yeah. What in tarnation's going on here? What y'all want? Birds are near my house at this ungodly hour? <clears throat> okay, uh, well, I'm glad I ran into you, Rusty Outrage. Goddamn liberals have been backing up the I-95 this whole goddamn afternoon. Hello. I don't want to hear your liberal mumbo jumbo. Get off my property before I chase you down with my shotgun. Brother, that, no, I've said that I... W All right, I can't be mad at the fucking revolutionary AI game getting something a little bit wrong. But that's not what I said. I was on his side. I love guns. <laughs> Is that what I should have said? Try my salmon ran off while I was walking it. Will that work? It's so crazy. It just might work. I feel like I need a gun or something like that. I don't know. Uh, oh, what if I go about doomsday what if i talk about doomsday or something like that i thought he was a frat boy but he was a fucking he was a texan a redneck oh fuck i don't need to turn to a bat bro i got this i got this there's a gun by your house yeah there is isn't there he's got a duffel bag and okay 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 I don't want to hear about your liberal agenda. I'm like, fuck, that's not what I fucking wanted. That's not what I said. Oh, fuck's sake. All right, come this way. Come this way, losers. Come this way. Come this way. Hi. <laughs> Idiots. Duffel bag? All right. <clears throat> Oh, what in turn you do knocking on my door this ungodly hour looking like a fool in your birthday suit? Get out of here before I tan your hide. <clears throat> I have a duffel bag full of beer in my hands right now. Does that interest you? <laughs> Surely, right? Ow. I ain't got no time for troublemaker like you. Take your duffel bag of devil's juice and skedaddle before I call the sheriff. Devil's juice? What's in that fucking... What's in the top there? Soda? Oh, that guy's wearing a, the gas mask I dropped. The hell? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I'm, I'm really interested in why you guys are just... That's it, boys. That's it. Come on. All of yous. All of yous. Okay, uh, what if I, okay, what if I try, what if I say I'm a camper? What if I say I'm a camper tool? Will that work? He's an, he's an old timey dude. Okay, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Maybe it's my outfit that he just doesn't like. Yeah, what in tarnation y'all do knocking on my door this ungodly hour? State your business or get out of here before I give you a haymaker. 
I'm sorry for bothering you, sir, but I just got back from active military duty. <laughs> well, butter my biscuits. Thank you for, kindly for your service, son. What brings you around these parts? <laughs> I knew it! Well, kind of like that movie Rainbow. I'm just traveling town to town just looking for a little bit of work. A little bit of kind goodness from a good Samaritan like yourself. <laughs> well, ain't you just a silver lining on a storm cloud? I reckon I might have a few odd jobs around here to need taken care of. How about we strike a deal and see if we can't help each other out? Oh god, he's gonna ask me to suck his cock. What do you mean? We can strike a deal. Help you out. <laughs> we help each other out. You help, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> well, that's mighty kind of you, sir. No one else has ever shown me kindness like this before. It almost makes a grown man want to cry. Well, shucks. Ain't no need for waterworks now. Come on in, partner. Let's see what we can do to help each other out. Oh my god. You sick bastard. <laughs> it's always satisfying when you get to go in. You dang city slickers. I knew it. I knew it. Somehow I just knew. I just knew. Oh my god. I can't believe the ex-military thing, the military service worked. He's like, my God, thank you for your service, son. Brings a tear to my eye even thinking about a man laying down his life for this country. Is this... We've already done this guy, right? Yes, we've killed him. <laughs> uh, who have we killed, Widowly? Oh, my God, there's so many cops around at the moment. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, let's try and just work out where we need to go. Lucky they don't run very fast. We've done them. I don't think we've done... I think we've done that guy. Okay, we haven't done this whole street. Oh my god. Okay, we haven't done this street. Alright, what do we have here? A grey sweater and button down and a bike helmet. Oh. Here we go. I've just graduated from university. This could work. This could work. Who's this? Uh, what's with the late night visit? Speak up. I've had a long day. Sorry to bother you, ma'am, but I just graduated from military school, actively discharged for wounds, served in the battlefield, and I was just wondering if you had a moment. <laughs> that made no sense. That made no sense at all. <laughs> oh, so you're a wounded warrior, huh? Well, I guess that kind of explains the backpack. What do you need from me? Ma'am, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I was hoping that I may perhaps have a glass of water. I am mighty parched out here. Fine, fine. Come on in and grab your stupid glass of water. But be quick. I've got work to do. Wow. You are generous, yet you are a bitch. Quite the oxymoron. Bro, this active duty thing is really, it's really working wonders. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this again. Everyone respects a man from the service. All right, we've got a chef. Chef's hat. Okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness. What do we have here? A chef in the making and a backpack to carry all those yummy ingredients. How exciting. What can I do for you, sweetie? Ma'am, sorry to bother you so late at night, but I just graduated Chef Military School and I was wounded in battle. I was just hoping for a moment of your time. Hello? Oh dear, I'm so sorry to hear that, sweetheart. Of course I'll make some time for you. Please come in and have a seat. Can I get you anything? Some tea? A warm blanket? None of that will be necessary, ma'am. Just your sweet company will suffice. Thank you for being so generous. Oh, you're making me blush, honey. It's my pleasure to keep you company. Sit right there and tell me about your time at Chef Military School. Can't wait to hear all these exciting stories. 
Thank you, ma'am. That's so kind of you. I appreciate your generosity and letting me into your humble abode. Oh, sweetie, it's no trouble at all. You're very welcome here. Come on in and make yourself at home. I'll put the kettle on for some tea. Right. Military oh. <laughs> active duty, I'm telling you. Oh my god. Okay. All right, what do we got next? What do we got next? What are, what's around this person's home? Oh, they got they have a garden. They have a really nice garden. Wait, what is this? A police? Oh my god. We can be a police officer. Holy shit, no way. Oh my god. Oh my Stars and garters. Who's out there? What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Sorry to bother you, sir. So late at night, but we've had some complaints about a disturbance occurring at this premises. Um, uh, a disturbance, you say? Oh dear, that can't be good. I assure you I've been here all evening and haven't heard or seen anything out of the ordinary. Is there any specific I can help you with? It's not that I don't believe you, sir, but uh, the disturbances that were reported do not lie. They are from a reliable source, and they say they are coming from this home. I find that hard to believe. My family's safety is my top priority, and I won't let any harm come to them. I suggest you do some investigating, but for now, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Goodbye. Fuck. That makes sense. I was rude to him. And usually, it seems like if you're rude to these guys, they they do not take to it very kindly. Makes sense, really. Okay, okay, we gotta be... Oh my god, who's this? Oh, hey there, officer. Okay. Awesome. What's cracking? How can I, like, totally assist you this fine evening? Millennial? Okay. Sorry to bother you so late, man, but we've had some disturbances in this area, and we're just doing a welfare check. <sighs> I wonder what that'll come up as. <laughs> oh, nothing. Well, that's good. Oh, no worries, officer. Safety first, am I right? But I can't really help you out right now. Got Netflix and chill, you know. Stay safe out there. Fuck. All right. This police officer tactic is not working very well. Oh my god. Is, what the hell is this guy just walking around with an axe? Michelle Maple? Well, howdy there, partner. What can I do for you this fine evening? Sorry to disturb you so late at night, ma'am, but we've had some disturbances in the area and uh, we're just doing a welfare check. Are you all right, Michelle? Oh, no need to apologize. Oh, no need to apologize, eh? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm just as chipper as a beaver. Oh, God. I can't do a Canadian accent, especially one like that. Uh, thanks for checking in, but I'm doing just fine, officer. Can I offer you a hot cup of maple syrup to warm you up? That would be mighty fine of you, ma'am. I would appreciate that. You warm this old officer's heart. Uh -huh. Well, I'll be darned. You got a heart of gold, officer. Come on in. You're enjoying welcome. The fire enjoys them freshly. You fucking idiot. I'm gonna eat the. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna murder you right now. In my office's outfit. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Now we're a lumberjack. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do with this one, but uh, we'll we'll find a way. Once we can sneak back to this person's door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop looking at me. No. That's alright. We can weave them. Lose them through here. Okay. 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 What is this? A chef's hat? Oh, this is my stuff from before. Okay. 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 What is, uh... What is this? A Jurassic Park hat? There. I don't want a taser. I don't know what... I don't even know what you can do with the taser. Can you just shoot someone in the face with it? Alright, let's see what we can do here. 
<laughs> who in tarnation are you wearing? Wait, who in tarnation are you? Wearing that fancy getup at this hour. What kind of business brings a colorful cowboy knocking on my door? Sorry to bother you so late at night, but I'm doing a giveaway to my brand new theme park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> I wonder if this will work. I'm not a Jurassic Park, huh? Ain't that the place with them big old dinosaurs? I gotta say, I'm a bit concerned about safety and all. What kind of giveaway are we talking about here? Angie, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Get some W's in the chat for Angie. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm assuming you got home, if uh, that's the case. Oh, it's perfectly safe. Don't worry, we have all the contingencies in order. Never you worry your head about that. Hi, I'm a financial. Well, I appreciate you reassuring me, but safety is my top priority. What's this giveaway you're talking about, and how does it relate to your theme park? I reckon I need more details before I can make a decision. Oh, you've simply won at random. That's what we're doing at this giveaway. Giving it to random people. Everyone loves dinosaurs. Everyone. Will this work? As long as it's like a positive thing you say, surely they like yeah, it. They yeah, they do. It. Yeah, okay. Hold on a second there, partner. How'd you come across my information from this random giveaway? I ain't too keen on my personal details getting out there without my say-so. Oh, don't you worry at all. It is all private. I have none of your personal details. I was merely walking the neighborhood and admired your lovely house. Well, I appreciate the kind words of my house, but I still find it mighty stranger doing a giveaway without a collection of personal details. Look, I ain't saying no, but I reckon I need a bit more reassurance before I make up my mind. Ah, oh, fucking, uh, God damn it. No, oh, no, of course, of course. You were not selected by your personal details, but merely uh, the striking look of your house on the street. Is that not enough? Is that not enough? Come on, bro. Well, I suppose I can't argue with you there. My house is indeed quite a sight, if I do say so myself. All right, let's say I consider taking part in this giveaway. What are the terms and conditions? I reckon I need to know all the details before I commit to anything. Oh, my fucking God. This guy, is this guy for real? Is this guy serious? You know what? I don't know if I want to give you the giveaway. <laughs> so I just like turn it on him. All right. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what are the terms and conditions? Uh, well, it's all outlined in a contract I have right here. If you would like to peruse it inside, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. Hold your horses there, partner. I reckon I need some time to read through that contract before I make any decisions. But I'll tell you what, I appreciate your offer. I'll be willing to have a look at that right here at the doorstep. No need to come inside just yet. Oh, you are a very clever one. That is fair enough. What is your favorite dinosaur, by the way, might I ask? Hey, Mr. Loverman. Well, that's my kind of you'd ask. I must have a soft spot for the good old Stegosaurus. That big plate's on their back is something else. What about you, partner? What's your favorite dinosaur? Oh, mine has to be the Stegosaurus as well. I do love its plates on its back. They're great. I don't know. Just trying to agree with him so he thinks we have things in common, so he trusts me. Ain't that a coincidence? Uh, ain't that a coincidence? Looks like we got ourselves a favorite dinosaur in common. You know what, partner? I reckon I trust you enough to invite you inside. You are a fucking idiot. I should have been more protective of my neck. Oh my god. You idiot! Okay, okay. This is pretty sweet. I look like a pretty good looking dude. Okay. Who's in here? Who's in here? <clears throat> oh. Hey, dude. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? But, like, thanks for bringing some adventure to my night. <clears throat> Hi, Millie. I couldn't help but notice that you might be interested in some looks maxing techniques to help you out. Are you interested? 
I wonder if looks maxing will come up. Looks maxing techniques don't feel uh, like Oh! Oh, um, thanks for the offer, but I'm pretty happy with my own unique style, you know? I appreciate your suggestion, though. Not a problem at all, Millie. But I do believe that everyone deserves to be the best version of you themselves. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah, I guess everyone deserves to be the best self, but like I already felt pretty awesome just being me, you know? <laughs> but I'm curious what kind of style tips are you talking about? Well, there are a multitude of steps and stages. Do you know anything about a term called mewing, Millie? <laughs> mewing? Um, I think I've heard of it, but like, can you refresh my memory? Of course. Mewing is a technique. But the <laughs> I can't believe I'm, t I'm telling Millie how to look, Max. <clears throat> of course, Millie. Mewing is a technique that in... That <laughs> fuck. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this, I got this. <clears throat> of course, Millie. Mewing is a technique that involves implementing correct tongue posture of the mouth. Do you have correct tongue posture? Uh, I'm not really sure about tongue posture, to be honest. But, like, I think I'm pretty good at talking, so that counts as something, right? Anyways, thanks for the info, but I'll stick to my own authentic style, you know? Not a problem at all, Millie. The next step in looks maxing is taking care of your skin. Do you have a good skincare routine? Oh, for sure. Skincare is totally important. I use an amazing combination of organic avocado oil and unicorn tears to keep my skin glowing. Do you have any skincare tips to share? Oh, that all sounds wonderful, Millie. I do have some skincare tips to share, but it'd probably be better to share them inside. Oh, uh, thanks for the offer, but I actually have some stuff to do right now. Maybe next time. Take care. Fuck! I was too hasty. I was too hasty on that. No, I don't know. I was too hasty. That's that's fair. I shouldn't have... She's the last house, by the way. I just realized she's the last house. Oh my god, I feel like we need to... Uh, I feel like we need to go... We go. We need to go all out if it's the last house. Um, okay. What do we got? What do we got? What's this? A fire hat? Seems ridiculous, but... Okay, we got a thermos. We got a dress. Okay, okay, okay. How do we get the hippie out? I have a free shower for you. No, that's ridiculous. That wouldn't work. Uh, what else we got? What's this one? This is... Oh, yeah, this is like a nice, like, kind of suit. I think we get rid of the... The fucking fire... Uh, maybe this may, actually, maybe this might work. Hey there, plate clad firefighter slash lumberjack. What brings you to my doorstep tonight? We've got avocado toast inside if you're hungry. Care to spill the tea? Millie, I'm so glad I caught you. Actually, I'm very hungry if you don't mind offering. Hey, Jackson, did you know that the place I work at used to service Jeff Lowe that. from the ti Tiger King Zoo? Really? Oh, for sure. I'm a hungry lumberjack. Step, in, step inside my millennial pad and I'll whip up some artisanal avocado toast with a side of quinoa salad. It's like totally on brand, you know? Oh, that would be really wonderful. Wow, that was really easy. Awesome! I'm stoked to have a lumberjack stamp of approval on my avocado toast skills, so while I work on my millennial magic in the kitchen, spill the deeds on your adventures as a play clad firefighter. Oh, yeah. Totally. Will do. I actually fought a fire at an avocado farm once. No way! That's like the ultimate millennial crossover. You're officially invited to become an honorary member of the Millennial Fire Brigade. Come on in, let's test your avocado farm firefighting skills. Oh my god, that was so easy. <laughs> you idiot! Everyone here is so dumb! This is the ultimate ghosting! You fucking idiot. 
I've done it! I've completed it! Wow, that was such a good game. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how she's the embodiment of a millennial. She's kind of a hippie, more than anything. A hippie? She was kind of a hippie. <laughs> oh my god, let's get some fucking W's. We beat the game! Damn, that is really good. I am so excited to see what happens when this is finally out. Suck Up is the game name, if you guys haven't heard of it. Um, that is such a, a good a good game. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, and we've almost been streaming for like three hours, so I feel like... I don't know. I feel like that's fucking... That's the stream. You guys should join the Discord if you haven't already, so make sure you join the Discord. The link is in the description. We are streaming to nearly 300 people so hello to everybody that doesn't usually watch the stream thank you guys so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed it um we stream every wednesday friday sunday that's what we do but make sure you join the discord to stay updated because i do change the schedule uh every now and then in fact i'll be changing it kind of soon-ish uh so but yeah i'll let you guys know about all of that um but yeah thank you guys all for tuning into the stream that was so fun um, yo, Katie, thank you so much for the nine months of membership. Oh my God. GG's, you sucked them all off. You goddamn right I did. What a strange thing to wake up to in the middle of the night. <laughs> thank you. That was really strange, but, uh, thank you so much for, uh, the membership and nine months. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Join the Discord. We're almost at 1500 members. That's true, Joe. We are almost at 1500, but yeah. Look, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into the stream and I'm going to try and catch some sleep because it is midnight. Uh, but, you know, good luck with that. I have drunk half an energy drink, so fingers crossed. But I hope you guys have a good day or a good night wherever you guys are. And with that, I'll see you all in the next stream or video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.